YouTube win. Uh, good to see you all. We're playing more Dead Signal, baby. Full stream of Dead Signal. Look at listen to the beautiful music. Uh, missed playing this game. Genuinely really fun to play. Like, it's very stressful, but it's very fun to play. Uh, and today we're going to be doing two things. Starting off, we're going to beat normal mode again, or at least try to. And while doing that, if we can, I don't know if it's going to work, I want to try and figure out how to avoid Del Falco, which is the enemy that is exclusive to, night, or to normal mode, if you check over here. Uh, no Mr. Del Falco on casual mode. Normal mode has this enemy. Uh, if you uh, were there a while ago, during the stream, the developer came to us and told us that it is possible to avoid this enemy altogether, which I don't know if that's true. Maybe he lied to us. Adam is known for being a troll. Um, so we are going to try a few theories on how we can avoid this guy. Uh, and we'll see if any of them works. If they all fail, whatever. We'll just beat normal mode again and learn something about the killer. Um, so yeah, it's going to be fun. And then the second thing I want to do is play on casual mode, which uh, I haven't done in a little while, because I want to clean up the rest of the achievements. I can show you this. Yes, there we go. Uh, we have... I have 12 out of 18 achievements, but there's a few funny achievements in here. There is uh, this one, sore thumb gets sniped by peeking too much there is uh this one report something in every category blind delivery deliver a package with no lights on including flashlight and then hide in all hideable locations this one we can't get because nightmare mode isn't even out yet and then maybe we'll try to also clean up the rest or do these achievements as well uh look at that 1.3 percent has beaten normal mode it's very hard to do and i just wanted to play casual mode again run through lasers do all kinds of other insane shit because casual mode is way less it's way less uh dangerous or it's, it's way less punishing if you die because you'll just get sent back to the last hour so yeah that's why i thought we'd do that but anyway uh thank you guys so much for joining me over on youtube can't wait for john's chapter me neither i was watching the dev stream today he was showing some content for john's chapter apparently it's going to be the biggest game it's going to be way bigger than welcome to the game 2 which is really exciting uh it's going to have like a whole new system with botnets and key loggers and all kinds of other crazy stuff looks very fun um and there's still gonna be all kinds of uh fucked up websites uh the stuff we love we know and love about welcome to the game which is very exciting also the developers done a few updates let's quickly check out the updates because i haven't looked at any of the patch notes last time we played i think it was 1.3 if i remember uh let's see view update history uh it's loading steam being slow right now we have a small patch. This morning, I combed through all the thread system. Lindsay, they give you the 20 gift subs. Thank you. I also miss someone else doing gift subs. What the hell are you guys doing? Ew. Uh, potato with this 26 months. T. Perry with the gift sub. No egg with the five gift subs. Kidley Quiche with the 27. Lindsay again with the 20. You're insane. Izzy Pizzy with the three. Lizards with the three. Mani Jens with the five. Siberian Saint, again with the five. Jedi Master Killer, what a name with the five. Or 12, 15, actually. Um, Tavi Tico with the 16. Creating with the 32. Lady Next with the 35. Jeebus. Sinful Sage with the tier two double baby, 18 months. Uh, Crit Haxer with the five. Wolf Ray with the 11. Dude, so many people. Vortex with the 28. Stubby Tuna with the uh, 25 months. Jeebity Christmas. Thank you guys so much for... All the subs, and if I missed anyone, I appreciate you all the same. Um, okay, so what do we got? This, oh, you can't see this shit. Um, <clears throat> this morning, I combed through all the thread systems and found a couple of bugs which could have caught, could have the chance to cause rogue AI behavior. Quality of live updates now at the game over screen. It will display you the stats of events found and events spawned. Very nice. Uh, patch 1.0.5. This was the previous one. Lucas laser rework. We worked on lo lo logic for Lucas's laser to a cleaner system. Now, if you leave a hiding spot while the laser is still active, it does not reset your hide timer. Very important. Uh, so this means that you can like peep out or pop out a little bit more frequently to see if you can already leave. That's really important. Pro tip, if all the lights are off, Lucas's laser only lasts seven seconds. Same on rooftop, always seven seconds. Huge tip right here. Okay, so if all the lights are off, that's only seven seconds. Insane. Balance changes, normal mode. Added two additional event spawns for the first hour. Okay, cool. From hour three to four, added one additional event spawn. Uh, Lucas added a failsafe in which he will not activate if another threat just came off within 25 seconds. Okay, so it's a little bit of a grace period. 1.04. 
fix a bug where in some cases the noir mail wouldn't trigger a jump scare in hallways okay um patch 1.0.4 oh this is just a hot fix okay del falco plus noir bug fix the bug in which the noir and del falco spawned at the same time okay nice noir mail bug fix fix the bug in which the male noir would insta spawn on top of players in the hallways female noir nerf the range in which she checks for player running nice Input arrow keys now also move the player similar to WSD, not relevant. Package update, now when you drop off a package, you get the quota point right away instead of only when you get back to the computer. Okay, so you can like actually use that to, to get you like a clutch victory. Lucas Laser, you can no longer get killed in the ba bedroom if you turn the flashlight on. Very nice. That was actually how I died. My very first death, I think, or one of my very first deaths was this death right here. I turned on the flashlight and I got immediately killed in the bedroom. Blind delivery achievement fix. Very good because we want to get that today. All seeing eye achievement fix. We want to get that too. Ending bug fix the bug where the reverb would get all funky. Wait, that was a bug? I thought that was supposed to work like that. Hey all, just patch it and hopefully fix the bug in which Lucas would kill you at the front door, even if you had the door closed. I just also wanted to mention that I apologize for these bugs. I know it's very aggravating to die due to, due to a bug when you are deep in a run and getting close to beating the aim, so I'm sorry about that. Alrighty, well, thank you so much uh, for all the bug fixes. It's cool to see that, that, that Adam is actually trying to balance this around normal players rather than all the insane gamers that we are usually. Isaac, thank you for the five... Uh, Isaac Ruiz, thank you for the $5 super chat. Uh, and thank you guys all for joining over on YouTube, by the way. Okay, so we're going to go. Now that we have gone through the patch notes, it's time to go say hi. Main channel, because we're going to be recording two videos today. If you're just coming in from YouTube, uh, we're starting off with some Del Falco science, which might not even work, but it's going to be fun regardless. And then the second thing is going to be going casual mode and just trying to go crazy. Run through lasers, uh, see how many ways we can die, uh, get all the achievements, and just have fun. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Dead Signal. This game is insane. If you know the Welcome to the Game series, you know how hard these games can be. And this game is no difference. It is also very difficult. Casual mode is very doable, but normal mode is where it starts to get crazy. You have permadeath, so if you die any point during the night, you have to start all over from the very beginning. And there is a brand new enemy. No Mr. Del Falco, which doesn't show up in casual mode at all. Now this enemy has actually some special secrets that no one has found yet when the developer came into our stream a while ago when we were playing this game uh, he told us that there is a way to avoid this enemy altogether now we don't know how this is done I've looked online and it seems like no one has figured it out yet so in this video we're gonna try and figure that out it might not work we have some strategies or some theories that we're gonna try out and we'll see if it works but anyway it's gonna be fun playing normal mode again I hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go Alrighty, let's go, baby. Here we go. <clears throat> let's do it. When is Nightmare release? We don't know. We don't know. Probably later this week somewhere. I'm gonna put you guys over there. Begin my shift. Well, one second. Oh boy. Yeah, I wanna do Nightmare mode, but it's not out yet, so we can't. <clears throat> Here we go. Do, 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 do. Probably move myself slightly. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we have had a few theories. One theory um, we already tried, which did not work. The first theory we had uh, was don't look at him for uh, long at all. Like as soon as you see Del Falco, try and leave the camera system immediately. Stay away. Do not look at him anymore. But that did not work because we looked at him for only a 0.1 seconds or something. And he still came in to kill us later. So that was definitely not the strategy. There's my flashlight. I was looking for that. Now, before we start talking about our other strategies, first of all, welcome to that signal. If it's your first time, I absolutely love this game. It is like welcome to the game. We're not going to do the tutorial because I'm going to be explaining it. We're it's like welcome to the game. But instead of looking at fucked up websites and and looking for keys in this one you're looking at cameras like an observation duty game and you're spotting anomalies and you need to get a certain amount of anomalies in this hour for example between uh, 10 p.m and 11 p.m we're gonna have to spot at least two things hopefully more uh, otherwise we will game over uh, now obviously it's a welcome to the game game so besides this simple mechanic here where we have to look at the stuff there's also gonna be all kinds of crazy serial killers that are gonna try and end our life uh, one of the things we need to do is keep track of this code every time this code changes 
That's, is that door already open? No. Uh, every time this code changes, we're going to have to get up and change the door code. Otherwise, the door is going to be unlocked for some killer to walk in. Now, we're working for the shade right here. This is our friend. Um, so, yeah, we're basically just looking around. There's uh, six different things we can report. There's access point, which is like an open door. There's hack. Let me move to the side real quick. There is hacks, which is stuff that you can hack. So laptop, phones, tablets, etc. High value if there's something to steal, like packages, wallets, etc. Defense if there is like things that can fight back, such as a gun or dogs. Peep is people that you can spy on. And suspicious is everything else. Uh, sketchy items, people, body parts, blood, corpses uh etc so yeah those are the categories we're looking out for now so del foco is an enemy i don't have to worry about anything right now by the way because uh the enemies don't show up until later in the game until they're explained to you in the tutorial i am however going to turn off these lights because it will make lucas spawn less if you turn off some lights i'm going to close them. i don't know if there's actually gonna be noir spawning in those rooms but noir apparently can spawn in multiple points in the um in the apartment now so we want to try and spot as many things early as possible while i explain this stuff um so the first theory we had was don't look at him for long that did not work we didn't look at him for like longer than a second or less than a second even and he still came in to kill us the second theory which i think might be the most plausible but is also the hardest to do is do not look at him at all just avoid looking at him but that's impossible because you don't know like, before you go to a camera, you don't know if Mr. Del Falco is going to be there. So I was like, what if you know in which ranges he can spawn? So I looked at all my old or all my other videos on normal mode, and it turns out he can spawn in a massive range. He can spawn anywhere between 11 p.m. and 1 p.m. So that is a massive range. That would mean you have to not look at the computer for two hours straight, which is basically impossible because you still need to get these reports so you can get your quota points. So that is going to be, oh, there is uh, an arm right there but i'm not going to report that because this is my hopeful theory my my second theory which is that um so based on the lore of this character the mr del falco character is a professional cleaner what does that mean he cleans up dead bodies and in the text when you see him for the first time it explains to you he doesn't like it when people find evidence of his work because he works in the shadow so what we were thinking is that if we um, oh, this is Adam, by the way. If we never report anything related to dead bodies or, or like, uh, body parts like this or corpses, maybe we're just not interfering with his work and he's gonna leave us alone. If we leave him alone, he's gonna leave us alone. At least that's my hope. So we're gonna leave anything that looks like a dead body or corpse, we're gonna leave all of that behind. Um, which is gonna mean that the rest of the game will be much, much harder. I don't know. I think we'll be able to report blood, I feel. Like, blood is not a dead body necessarily, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, shit, this is not good. Yeah, we're, we're having to deal with Adam and his bullshit. Um, but I think that's a pretty solid theory. Um, because it's almost impossible to just not look at the cameras for like two hours straight. I don't think we can do that in any feasible way. So yeah, we need to try and collect as much information as possible, as many reports as possible, um, because we're gonna miss out on a whole category. That's a hack right there. We're gonna miss out on a whole category of things that we can report. So we're gonna have to work way harder because last time we barely made it to the end. Uh, we, we barely survived. So, uh, like when we beat Nightmare Mode on the new update. So, that means it's going to be even harder now. But, on the other hand, if it works, it means we don't have to deal with Del Falco, which will really help us out. Because that means uh, we're going to be dealing with one enemy less, right? Which is really, really cool. Uh, if it actually works. But no one has figured it out yet, so we're going to hopefully be the first one to figure it out. Uh, so, Clint is the guy that you play as in Welcome to the Game 2, by the way. I love that they're building this, like, overarching universe here where uh, the characters from the other games are coming back in this game. So Clint is giving us some information about the killers, which are the similar killers, but they work differently in this game. So the, the body has been cleaned up, maybe by Mr. Del Falco, who knows? We're just gonna ignore it and pretend that we didn't see anything to not interfere with uh, Mr. Del Falco's work. There's another laptop. I guess we're gonna hack that one too. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, Lucas, which Lucas and Noir are going to be attacking us. Uh, they both work slightly different or very different, especially Lucas works very different from uh, Welcome to the Game 2, where he will now have a rifle. He will have a sniper rifle and he tries to shoot you from a distance. Um, 
he will be pointing his laser through the window here and you'll have to hide underneath the the bed in order to avoid getting shot <laughs> uh if that's your theory i don't think you should report blood can we really win the game if we don't report i mean i guess if we can just figure out what like avoids spawning del taco that would be like uh a successful uh science uh lesson for this game i guess but if you can't report blood body parts and corpses i don't think you can beat this game because that is a lot of fucking reports you're missing out on i don't know if this is a hack because this is the exact same thing that shows up on those laptops but i'm pretty sure this is always here now as you're seeing we're not playing nightmare mode right now that's because nightmare mode doesn't exist yet oh there's a package right there that's high value um I was looking at the developer stream. He is working on Nightmare Mode right now. Uh, and Nightmare Mode is going to be absolutely fucked up. You cannot make a... You cannot miss a single package. And on top of that, you cannot miss a single report. Not, not like you can't miss it. But if you report anything wrong, you will instantly game over. So right there, where I made a wrong report and the guy said, what the fuck is this? Try harder. That would have immediately game over us. So yeah, no mistakes whatsoever, which is very freaking hard. Um... And on top of that, there's going to be the nights are or all the hours are going to be longer. The enemies are going to spawn more frequently. So it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Is Clint already done explaining his mechanics? He is done explaining his mechanics, which means now the killers can start showing up, uh, which I hope to have a little bit longer, honestly, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So we're going to be looking around, trying to get as many rollover reports as possible. So the way this works is that if you go over the two so we're already over the two right we're already at three if you report more you will uh you will keep those for the next hour which is basically the only way you can beat the later hours because there's so many killers that are going to start showing up and attacking us that if you don't have a bunch of rollover points you're just gonna perish you're not gonna make it which uh is very scary now people keep telling me in the youtube comments why are you not reporting hack for these flashing lights this is just like the this is just normal this is how it always looks like this is not hack so don't at me in the comments like dude it would have been so e i had so many people comments because i was complaining about how hard the game was uh and there were so many people adding me dude if you just a single time reported the 700 hacks we saw in the server room it would have been so easy you dumbass and i'm like my brother in christ that's not at all how the game works but all right <laughs> so yeah no that is not a report just uh just getting ahead of that one so we don't get flamed in the comments again Okay, um, we're chilling. That's credit cards right there. We've only seen high value. We're doing a great job, though. That's our... Oh, we're in a code changed. 03747. So now the code is, uh... Is that one until it changes again? Uh, 03747. Boom. Nice. We need to remember that. Otherwise, uh... We will get shot by Lucas. Okay. So that's a nice report. Good job. We got four already. I think avoiding that body i think this actually might work because i feel like that's a pretty cool challenge honestly it's like pick your poison do oh we got a package how long do we have 45 minutes to 5c 5c 45 minutes can we can we write that down write that down um so it's it's like pick your poison do you want to have to deal with an extra enemy or do you want to have an easier time getting enough quota points uh and you can just choose whatever one you want to pick uh so there's also there's blood here do we report blood i guess we just leave all of the body things alone we don't even report blood that is gonna be hard as fuck but i guess we'll just leave it just to see if it works like we can always try reporting blood and narrowing it down i think we'll leave the blood as well so we leave blood we leave body parts and we leave full corpses obviously if that doesn't freaking work i don't know what the hell uh, why is he not reporting me when I explain everything and then get a comment asking why I'm doing what I'm doing that I just explained? Fucking not like this. <laughs> I just explained, but I I don't know. Should I explain it again? <laughs> okay, so we need to report the, or we need to deliver this package and we, we want to try and miss as little packages as possible. That's red paint. I'm not falling for it, Mr. Del Falco. You're trying to, you're trying to get angry. Just looking for a victim. 
So there's an arm right- Dude, we're getting so fucking unlucky with these reports. We're getting so many body part reports that I would love the report. We literally missed out on four different reports here. Or three different reports. If we could just fucking report these things. But I'm, I'm gonna have to hold off on that. No blood. No body parts. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Um, so sometimes I have to stand up. Just look around a little bit. Seeing if there's any killers. Now, I'm- I- I think they can spawn in the ba bedroom and the- bathroom as well but i'm not gonna check that if we die by that it's gonna be additional science right uh we need to deliver this package in like 40 more minutes so we're totally fine i want to at least report one more thing before we even think about going for this package now preferably so there's several things that can send you up to the roof uh one of them is grabbing a package and delivering it the other thing is when your computer like your network fall goes out the, the, your signal goes dead the name of the game dead signal then you have to um, you have to go to the roof and change the satellite dish to get your signal back. Fucking shit's still here. And I want to kind of have those things happen at the same time, if possible. So we can, like, multitask really efficiently. Because what's really annoying is if you just come back from delivering a package and then you see that there's a freaking... Uh, network outage so you have to go back up again to fix the network and then you're just like sitting in the slowest elevator of all time over and over again which is very annoying which by the way the developer is planning to add a mechanic which sounds absolutely fucked up like come on adam so he's adding an emergency brake switch or something that speeds up the elevator but every time you use the elevator there is a this is a hack by the way back here that's a phone you can't really see it but uh, every time you use the elevator, there's a 1% chance it will kill you, which is just fucked up, man. <laughs> like, that's gonna mean that you, you have, you can choose to use that or not. So it's just gonna be, do you want to roll the dice? Because I think you go up and down the elevator like 20 times during a playthrough. Do you want to have like a 20% chance to just fucking die during this run? Or <laughs> do you want to, uh, like have an insanely slow elevator? And there's no way to avoid it, he said. So that is very stupid, but I guess it is what it is. I love how there's no stairs in this apartment complex either. I feel like that's a safety violation. I don't think you can do that. All right, we're going to report one more thing. And then I think it's about time for us to go uh, do a visit to the to the rooftop. So we have six reports, but we, we got like 10 total because we had to ditch out on a lot of reports, right? So yeah. I'm looking around, seeing if there's any noir hanging about. I don't know when Lucas starts spawning. I'm gonna go up. Any noir? No noir. Close that door. Gamble sounds fun. It sounds freaked up. <laughs> it's like... Also, so as I said, you can't miss a single package. You can't miss a single or do a single wrong report on nightmare mode. Uh, you have to do way more reports. Obviously, extra hours. Goodness gracious, man. But he was also planning a custom mode, which sounds really cool, where you can change all the settings um, based on your liking, which he said part of that custom mode is going to be a, uh, a button to skip the hour if you reach the quota, which would and specifically in the thing, it says which would make speedrunning possible. So he genuinely uh, I guess he doesn't hate speedrunning as much as I thought he did. So he wants to add a potential speedrunning mode. However, he also said that this was going to be locked behind beating nightmare mode, which if it's going to be anything like scrutinized, no one has ever beaten scrutinized nightmare mode besides me. So I'm assuming he's going to make this nightmare mode more reasonable if he wants to have a whole freaking uh, game system locked behind it. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're playing normal. We're playing on the highest difficulty. This is the only there's no nightmare mode. It's going to be very interesting to be the only one to be able to do the speedrun mode. So yeah, in this elevator, there'll be a lever. You can pull that lever, which will make the elevator way faster. But it's also going to give you 1% to just fucking die every time, which is really stupid. <laughs> I'll be the only one to be able to speedrun this game. I think this game is so fun. I'm so excited for... Uh, for... The, there could be a noir behind me, by the way. Eviction notice. For John's chapter, he said it was going to be way longer than Welcome to the Game 2. Have way more mechanics, way more cool stuff. Uh, and he showed some of the cool stuff, and it looks really fucking awesome. So I'm excited. 
I'm excited for that game, although it is probably at least one year away. Uh, he already has a lot of the systems when it comes to the computer in place, and he has the whole house already. So it's not like he's starting from scratch. He actually got a lot of stuff done. Thorlar, I saw you were playing uh, Outlast Trials. I was uh, potentially going to play that soon as well. It looks... There's like a new event or something going on, which is very cool. Oh boy. So yeah, welcome Raiders. Good to see you guys. Uh, we're still totally fine. We've reported that we did the package. Let's hope that the signal is not dead. The signal is not dead right now. We have zero, zero, three, boom, boom, right? There we go. He's insane with it. I need you guys to post that in chat though. Otherwise I'm going to lose. I need help. I'm, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> Alice trials. It's, it's quite nice. Uh, there, so we still, we have already reported that wallet. It's gone now. Um, so for those people who are coming in right now with the Thorlar raid, uh, we are trying to outsmart one of the most terrifying killers in this game, which is Mr. Del Falco. He is a professional cleaner who cleans up dead bodies, and he doesn't like it when people snoop in his business, when people uh, take note of what he's doing. So what we have, there's what our theory is right now, is that we can avoid him if we just never report any dead body, body part, blood, etc. Like anything that he might want to clean up. If we just leave him to do that, and we don't report any of it, it might completely avoid spawning Del Falco. And the reason we think it's even possible to avoid spawning Del Falco is because the developer literally came to our stream to tell us that it is possible to do that, but apparently no one has figured it out yet, so we could be the first to figure this out if it works. I could also just fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, or that. <laughs> Damn. So I, I think that was probably because I was just sitting at the computer too long because I was focused. Dude, we actually got every single report because four of them were body parts. All right. Well, that was a bit of a yikes. Uh, so you have to stand up way more than I was doing right there. That was just an oopsie on my part. Um, you have to like constantly get it from the computer. I was trying to figure out like, or sort of avoid doing it as much because I know it's very annoying when I'm just constantly standing up, but I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. This is just the way the game's supposed to be played. Like after every few camera flicks, I'm supposed to stand up and look if there's noir in the room now i really wish i would have stood up there earlier because i don't know if that was because i missed like noir in the room somewhere else like maybe he spawned in the bathroom and i would have had to check in the bathroom um so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stand up so we're also we're trying to test two things here we're trying to test to avoid del falco and personally i also want to try um i think i'm actually gonna what if i just leave the lights on like, I know I can turn these lights off, but they changed the way Lucas works, uh, which is actually making him way more forgiving. So the way Lucas worked before is that if you were hiding from him, you would hide under the bed, and then he would... Uh, there would be a specific timer that was based on how many lights you had turned off. And if you got out from the bed before that timer was over, it would reset and you would have to wait. Like, let's say the timer was 50 seconds and you waited 49 seconds. You leave the bed. You would have to wait another full 50 seconds uh, to actually despawn him. And if you le left early again, you would have to wait again. So that's how uh, Lucas used to work. However, they've changed it now where you can uh, leave the timer won't reset which i think is a really good system which means that we might actually be fine just leaving the lights on now which is going to make dealing with noir easier because we can just wait a little longer for lucas and leave early and if we still see the laser we just go back under the bed i think i'm going to try that just to see um just to, just to see how much of a difference that makes. But as I was saying, there's two things I want to figure out. One is, can we avoid Del Falco? And the other thing is, um, do the Noir actually spawn in the bedroom and the bathroom? Because that's supposedly a thing. But that seems insanely fucked up. If that's actually a thing. Because that means that every time you stand up, you would have to go around the house to check if they spawn. That just seems like a really weird mechanic that's very, like, non- uh it's a very non welcome to the game mechanic where you're just like oh you didn't see the enemy that you couldn't possibly see well you die anyway <laughs> that's so dumb so yeah maybe this will this will help us well if he, if they definitely spawn there then we should probably turn off the lights cuz if they spawn there even a single time that means we're going to have to check them every time so yeah i don't know uh, maybe turning off the lights is a good idea then 
because that just helps you against the other killers. But as long as uh, Clint hasn't told us everything, we're fine. We're not going to get killed. Um, so we're still going to stick to the same strategy here. Hopefully not get killed. You don't have to walk around. They cast shadows that you can see from the computer. Okay. All right. See, that is cool. I like that. Okay, but then I, that means I have to have the lights on in those rooms to see those shadows, right? Okay, wait, but I have to turn shadows off. I guess I'm going to turn shadows back on then. <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. All right, that's, uh, I, well, let's trust that theory too. Let's, we're, we're being the ultimate science science master of this game. Because as per usual, when a new Adam Games comes out, fucking every YouTuber plays it, they scream at it, they die over and over again, and then they give up. Uh, well, out here, we like to do it a little different. We like to dissect these games and actually figure out what the fuck is going on. Now, we would love to already report something that's hopefully not going to be a dead body. A uh, door open. That's an access point right there. Let's go. Easy peasy. Um, hopefully, we're going to get as many of those as possible and no body parts and shit. There's so many... How, when did we die? We died at like 11. We died insanely early. So, this is our code, by the way. 35395. So, uh, keep that in mind. If this code ever changes, uh, we would have to... Let me see. Is it changed? No, it's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, you can drop the code in chat. Do you already have the game, Shade? I mean, I, I always find it weird to drop codes in chat. I wouldn't drop a, uh, a code in chat because there's just going to be, like, a bot. I think there's bots on Twitch that, like, look at streams and that snipe when something looks like a steam key and then immediately redeem it so uh you're just gonna give the code to some kind of like scam bot so don't do that uh but you can send it to one of the mods and then we can maybe do a giveaway in the discord if you want to do that or you can just like give it to your friends like it's all up to you <clears throat> blinking light in the last server me when i don't listen to this no nah, i just set this like an hour ago no this is not a report this is this is this is just normal <laughs> my life <laughs> every time dude okay uh i don't think he can they can spawn yet right because clint hasn't even fucking started spawning um so it seems that around every seven minutes something will appear it's not as reliable as i want it to be uh hello ronald what a fucking stupid name is that excuse me I'm not even named Ronald. Who the fuck is Ronald? There's a hack right there. Look at that. Two reports already. We're done. We could now start dicking around and doing nothing, but then we would definitely lose later in the game. I don't know if I should... I don't have to stand up right yet. This is going to be cool, though. The fact that you could see the shadows. Thank you so much for that knowledge. I was going to be very annoyed walking back and forth between those things. Yeah, that's going to be sick. The war can't spawn in a room if the door to that room is closed except the living room are you 100 are we 100 percent sure about that i don't think so i think i think we should just go with the shadow strategy and then shadow strategy doesn't work we'll try something else we're just gonna do do what it takes or try to figure out how to deal with these enemies clint is still not messaging us right yeah clint hasn't even sent us anything so let's go we all good <clears throat> Yeah, he said that there's going to be breather in nightmare mode. Uh, so the way breather is going to work, uh, there's going to be a new thing. You're going to have a camera that you need to place in the hallway, and that will add a new camera to your computer screen. So you have 21 cameras instead of 20. And on that camera, there could be a breather showing up. So you have to check that camera every now and then to see if there's a breather. And then you have to hold the door. Like in Welcome to the Game 1, which is actually fucked up. <laughs> but it's really cool that there's another enemy coming. But th this hack already reported, right? That was our second report. Uh, we're almost at 21, which means we would expect to see something else. Okay, Clint, can you just not tell me this so I don't have... Uh, it would be cool if he... I don't know, I, like... I feel like it would be nice if casual mode had like a way for you to turn on these enemies, right? So then you could you could try them out. You could like learn uh, how to deal with these things rather than having to do it on normal mode. But that's 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 an Adam game for you. Phone in the office. Phone in the office as well. Phone in the office. Thank you very much. Alrighty, there we go. We got three reports. Let's go. 
Yeah, Breather has been in every single game, every single welcome to the game, except I guess Scrutinized if you count that one. I guess if you count welcome to the, or the waiting room. That one is also, uh, I don't know if I have to stand up already. So we're looking for shadows out there. That's cool. Alrighty. So we, we don't have to move around. We just literally sit and look. We'll see how that works. So these are all just normal mm -hmm. items. Okay, so he's done explaining us, which means now, boom, all enemies are activated. Or at least from my experience, you cannot really be killed before that. And there should be... We already got through... We got way more luck this time with our reports. We did not get any blood reports that we're going to have to skip out on. I'm going to report suspicious people. I feel like that's fine. That phone we already reported. Unless it disappeared and then another phone spawned right in its place which would be very stupid i have a package already 3c 30 minutes damn okay, i might have to start standing up way more frequently 3c there's a leg god damn it i wish i could report that right now but i don't want to make del falco angry or well, i don't mind making del falco angry but we just need to do the science right if it works and then if it works, we can see, can you still report blood, maybe? And then if that... Uh, oh, the code changed. Thank you very much. I'm not seeing shadows. 64841. 64841. We should do one more report and then go do this package, probably. I'm, I'm really counting on the shadow strategy here. The shadow that shows in the bathroom is super subtle. Shit. That's going to be a disaster. Okay, well, maybe we have to look in the bathroom then. We'll just see if we fucking die over and over again. Because th this is the thing with these games. If you want to beat... Like, if we want to beat Nightmare Mode eventually, we're going to have to min-max the living shit out of every little mechanic in this game. Because you cannot... There's a leg there, I know, but I can't see it. Because you cannot do safety strats when you're playing... Nightmare mode, you're gonna have to like... Because then we'll just run out of quotas, right? We'll not have enough. But yeah. You, you guys fucking upstairs stop screaming at each other? I know the leg is a report, but we're not reporting any body parts because we're trying to see if that prevents Del Falco from spawning. That's our strategy here. Okay, there should be another thing right now. Get the broom. I hope he actually adds that mechanic. He was talking about that you might get loud neighbors in the future and then you'd have to like smack on the ceiling being like stop that be very funny i'm looking very closely to the shadows at least if i look and then we die to it we can like review the footage afterwards right we can be like oh damn there actually was a shadow dude that's so fucked up all right we, we there's a tablet probably hack I'm gonna say that's a hack, and then we're going for the for the thing. All right, let's go. What's the deal with the shadow? So there is Noir that could show up in the bathroom and in the bedroom, supposedly. But the shadows are apparently very sneaky. You need to go all the way to 3C. That's kind of stupid, but all right. <clears throat> Ding dong. Hey, Lenina, what's up? Third image of it makes the bitrate so bad, I know. <laughs> it's uh it's the bitrate destroyer. <clears throat> I have not played Welcome to the Game 2 modded, no. There's like a pretty cool mod that I still need to try out eventually. Okay, I love how the first time we saw an enemy in the in the last run we immediately died to them. Because we hadn't seen a single enemy up to that point, and then we got fucking murdered. God damn. There's lag spikes. I don't know what's going on. I'm not seeing any drop frames on my end, so I don't, I don't, want, to, don't know what to tell you. You gotta f go to the roof and fix your signal. Gotta go to the roof and then avoid getting killed by Lucas or Del Taco. What happens if you see Noir? So there's two Noirs. There's the male and the female. For the female, you have to get close and then turn around and not move your mouse at all. For the male, you have to just shine your flashlight at it and turn around. It's way easier. I've seen people even survive without tur turning their flashlight on and shining it at them. But I'm pretty sure it explained that you need to use uh, the flashlight. So I don't know how they survived, but whatever. 
Will there be a Welcome to the Game 4? There's technically not been a Welcome to the Game 3 yet. I know I call this Welcome to the Game 3 because it's very similar. And just people know the name Welcome to the Game, right? So, need to go all the way to 3C, right? Can the sniper get on the roof? Yes. 3C, was it? I think so. Yes. All right, well, we're dropping it off. We're running. It said you need the flashlight. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try and not die immediately after the first package this time, because that's when we died <clears throat> in the last run. We did make it to 11, but then we got killed. This game is just a paranoia simulator. You got to be as paranoid as possible, and then you win. I was not being paranoid enough. We're, we're just trying to avoid body reports at all and just seeing if that works. We don't know if it works. No one has figured it out yet. We're, the, we're gonna be world's first testing this. Oh. It'll be kind of spooky. There's gonna be anyone in the room because I think that's how I died last time. I just didn't check the room properly after coming back. Code was six, four, eight, four, one. Okay, let's check the room now. No noir. See if there's a shadow. I'm not seeing any shadow, but let's check. Okay, no noir. This is fucked up, man. <laughs> if they could just spawn there. I'm gonna sit down and immediately get up, so don't get your hopes up. Did that report count, by the way? It did count. Okay, and then, let's see. Any shadows? I'm not seeing any shadows. I hope that setting it to epic actually is the way to go. So that tablet is gone. All right, let's go. Client received the package. We got five quota points now. We're going to stand up a, f a little bit more frequently here now. Uh, there's a suspicious suit or backpack. It's actually we're just a little paranoid because literally last time we died right here. You can't run through the laser, apparently, if you just, like, sprint through it. But that's scary as fuck. All right, we got the report 6 already, and we're almost at 11. That's pretty damn good. If you can get 8 in the first hour... Oh, that's an open window, access point. If you can get 8 in the first hour, that's insane. Just, like, I want to get, like, a reference for how the shadow looks like. I don't know. Running through the laser is going to be the next experiment. So uh, my next thing that I want to do after this, if we can, because you cannot spawn Del Falco on normal or on casual mode, right? But I want to do a casual mode run and just push the limits of what's possible. Like, see how far you can run towards. Like, can you turn off all the lights? How long can you stay in the camera screen? When will you die to the war? Um, and you run through the laser back and forth, like, oh, and, and maybe see some different jump scares. Like, what happens if you go up the elevator while Lucas is active or something? Because on casual mode, it doesn't matter, right? You can just die. Uh, and then, obviously, I want to play nightmare mode whenever that comes out, but that doesn't exist yet. I thought I saw someone there. I know I'm standing up a lot, but there's probably going to be noir very soon here. Is this game hard? It is very, very hard. Especially, it's not as hard as Scrutinize. Scrutinize, we already reported this open window. Scrutinize requires an incredible amount of game knowledge before you even stand a chance of beating it. Uh, I feel like the Noir is going to be here, dude. I'm checking. Maybe it's because we have the lights on now that they don't spawn. What if we turn off this light? Will that make it easier to see the shadow? Probably not. I feel like this light literally does nothing besides spawning more noir. Because if you turn off lights, the noir spawns more frequently. It says that in the in the tutorial. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. We're just we're just. It might take forever to avoid Lucas now because all the lights are on, right? No blood, no package. I feel like we're missing out on some. One more, and then I have to check again. I'm so scared right now. This game makes you absolutely turbo paranoid. Okay. Uh, 
Come on, we're, we're at 11 now. We're already above quota. So we have a full hour to collect extra quota points here, which is going to be necessary for the end game. Because in the end game, you cannot spend basically any time at the computer. And specifically, or especially now, when we are playing it without reporting a whole category of reports. I'm going to check the bathroom real quick. I'm not seeing any shadow, so this would be insanely messed up if it's there, but it's not. Yeah, more lights will spawn L or Noir less, but it will make Del Falco, but we're not going to hopefully have Del Falco, and it will it will keep Del Falco and Lucas longer. But if we can avoid spawning Del Falco, that actually might make this way better, right? I don't know. We're learning, and we'll probably die along the way. Like, you could beat this the old-fashioned way. The strategy, the tried and tested strategy I've already beat twice, right? I've beat it twice. I just want, kind of want them to spawn. So we can fucking rule it out. What's the square in the parking space? This thing? I don't know. Oh, come on. I have to stand up first. Any. Nothing. Alright, we're gonna repair this. Hopefully not die. I'm not seeing anything in the camera. Any? Oh, there's a dead body! Dead body above here. You see that? We're not gonna... I don't know if you can see this because the fucking bitrate's probably shit right now. But we're not gonna report that because that's gonna interfere with Del Taco's work. You see right there? I have to get up immediately. I'm actually just gonna check them real quick. What if I immediately get snipped by Lucas? Remember the anxiety, the code changing so much as it did before was insane. Yeah, we can't report that, sadly. Otherwise, I feel like probably if you have to choose between Del Falco or missing out on every single dead body and arm and blood, you should probably take, like, the reports and just deal with Del Falco the old-fashioned way. Because, like, missing that many reports can be absolutely killer. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. Holy shit. All right. Did not see a shadow because he was right in my fucking face. Okay. Uh, that's good, though. That means we, we avoided them. No oh, dead body here, but still there. Can that shit leave? I don't want it. Okay, someone is banging at the door. Is there a laser? I feel like Lucas is going to be spawning soon. Hmm. Yeah, if you see him in the... That actually scared the hell out of me, by the way. I was so not ready for that. There's a wallet right there. It's a little hard to see. But there it is. Okay, so we're two reports over. We really want more. But... Ooh, what the fuck was that? You see the... Huh? Why did the, the carpet just become all glitchy? Am I insane? What the fuck happened to the carpet? Do we have a report, by the way? We have a package, we already did that. Okay, nice. This report is good. Let's go. We're so good at this game. We're cracked. He's unbelievable. And he's gonna die. So it's kind of crazy that they still spawned like that. Oh, the code changed. Five seven three three two. Thank you so much. Uh, five seven three three two. Boom. Lucas is gonna be here any second. I forgot how. I was like, oh, nice. We're gonna play some dead signals. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And then I forget that this game fucking <laughs> makes you lose your mind. Oops, wrong. No, that was fine. Okay. No, no blood reports. We cannot dare interfere with Del Falco's work. His business. That still is very fun. It's very fun. It's just very stressful. Like, it must be really relaxing to watch because you don't have to deal with any of the garbage. But I have to deal with all the garbage. There's this wallet still that we already reported. Really hope... Oh, come on. Package. Uh, 5B 30 minutes. All right, guys, 5B 30 minutes. I have to check again. I don't, I feel like Lucas is showing up any second. Did I say 30 seconds? I meant 30 minutes. <laughs> That's 
still very short though but not as short as 30 seconds uh there's a package back there let's go high value that's that's extremely good okay let's just check while that report is going we'll just quickly check the the rooms see if there's any fishy business going on this game looks so good by the way like you gotta you, you should look at this man look at this right here you have to see the reflections on this freaking look at the way the light shines off the keyboard it's actually cracked like look at, if you go to the this look now it's red it's like actually properly beautifully reflected is it's like you're here in real fucking life anyway we should turn these lights back on otherwise we're gonna die i mean that's unreal engine 5 for you right there damn insane I'm walking around because if I sprint and there's Noir, I'm gonna get killed. When is Lucas gonna show up, man? What are we looking for? For masked killers that wanna hit me with a hammer. To end my life. Any access points? There's a lot of blood, but once again, we can't report that. Because there might it might piss off Del Falco. I, do, I feel like if we're gonna try this again, like next time, if this works, which that's a huge maybe, if it works, we should try doing the blood reports next time. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna play it completely safe. Like this is the ultimate way to test this theory, right? If this works, if th what we're doing right now doesn't work, then like it, there's just no way to avoid Del Falco with this strategy. Because, like, the other theory that we had, right? Which is the theory that I was running with, or that um, that I've also said earlier today, that you just don't want to look at them at all on the cameras. But as I explained earlier, I looked at all the times I've ran into Del Falco before, and they are anywhere between 11 p.m., like right at 11, which is insane, or all the way to 1 p.m. So that would mean you have to not look at the camera for two hours straight, which is literally impossible. You just lose. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, what? Okay, well, we've indeed discovered that this strategy does not work. Okay, so then it has to be... Dude, that is, I thought that was such a cool idea. Okay, so that means that you probably don't want to look at them at all. Which, as, as I said, so I've looked at... Let me let me show you my times. So, 11.42, 11.36, 12.05, 1pm, 11.15, and 11.29 is all the times... I was looking at it. Uh, oh, there is Lucas. Was all the times we've ran into Del Falco before. We've also tried immediately switching away from Del Falco. That did not work. Okay, so this means... Uh, the laser go? Um, what oh, laser? Huh? Is he killing me? Oh, there it is. What the fuck? Uh, that means that you... That genuinely the only strategy that I can think of is not seeing not looking at the cameras oh the the code changed for two hours how are you gonna do that i thought that would i thought that actually made an incredible amount of sense reporting not not reporting the dead bodies okay but that means we're like actively or at least like if it didn't like prevent him from spawning like at least it could delay him from spawning right uh that's so what is our next theory so now we have del falco so this uh i mean we could try going a little crazy like uh does he only show up with rooms that have bodies in it because you can't avoid looking at him somehow adam said you can avoid looking at him somehow yeah i mean adam is just like just don't fucking look at the camera forehead just don't look the cam use the camera for two hours as if that's a feasible strategy like that just does not Fuck it. I think it might just not. I, th I think it might just be a lie. Like, I. Because Adam has many times told me things that just do, don't, like, work at all just to troll me. So this might be another one of those. Uh. But, like, I don't. Because I don't know how. I don't know how you could have possibly avoid looking at him. Like, that would just be so. Is he back? Is he gone? 
I think he's gone. We did it. Okay, so that is... I mean, we need to change this code. Man, that, that's crazy that he still spawns so early. There's like a mini gray spirit. But we did that. We literally, as soon as we looked at him, I immediately looked away and stopped looking at the camera. Obviously, now I've, it's 58761. Obviously, now we've looked at him a lot. Um, but we can't just run this. Let, can we try and be stupid? Can we? Can we? I want to see what happens if you die to Del Falco. I haven't died to Del Falco ever. Let's, shall we do that? Shall we? Shall we? Like, I, I haven't... I don't think I've ever been killed by this guy. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, so we're just... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. Okay, let's uh do something stupid. The signal was off as well. And try and find... Mr. Del, Del Taco. Signal is also off. So do we go all the way? I think we just go to a different floor. 5B package. I'm just going to go to a different floor and walk. To avoid Del Taco, you can't go over current quota. That would be so fucking dumb if that's the way. Um, that, that just, like, that lore-wise just doesn't make any sense. You looked it up and said, okay, so you have, that is such a, oh, fuck you. Because we try not looking at him for like, that is such a, that is so much simpler. Okay, but then we, we know. Like, let's, let's try that theory. That theory is way easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, bonus second. All right, fucking Del Falco, can you kill me? I'm gonna turn on the lights here. I don't think he's gonna spawn here because the other enemy already spawned. I want to get murdered. Did I ever play Silent Hill? I've never played Silent Hill. I'm gonna go to a different floor. I just want to see the kill animation for Del Falco. Oh come on. You guys ready? <laughs> Jesus! Dude, he fucking chopped me up good! Alrighty, so that is how I've been caught. Correct report 8, total events spawn 16. I mean, we missed a lot because we were gone from the computer. Okay, next try is, I guess, looking away instantly. So we're gonna have to time it. If you look away in less than a second, I guess I literally was right on the edge of that uh, last time we played. It's I I like about this game. What I what one of the main things I enjoy compared to something like Scrutinized is that the in Scrutinized when you lose, you have to go through all those early nights again, which is insanely annoying. Uh, because it takes so long before you get back to the part where it actually gets hard. In this game, you can make use of those early hours to really get a lot of extra points to make those later hours way easier which uh like is a really satisfying thing to do like get those early quotas um so now we're just gonna report everything religion um we're gonna re report everything and just move away from his camera instantly that is uh Really weird, though, that they, like, specifically say... We should have read the message there. So the message about Del Falco is, like, um... He doesn't like it when people see his evidence. Which I guess maybe that could also be, like, just look away from him as soon as possible. So around 11... From 11... 10 onwards, we're gonna have to be ready to, like, immediately flick away from a camera that he's on. And then we'll see. I don't know. This toolbox in the in the toilet? I don't think that's a thing. <clears throat> this is cool though. I mean, we're we're this is the way you figure stuff out, right? We have had to do so much fucking science to figure out scrutinized and learn about all the mechanics. This is we're 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 making the path ourselves. We can't follow the path 
of other people when the path does not exist. I don't think I have to pay attention anymore. Let's just look at all the stuff. I love how he has a, a saw. Just buy a gun on the dark web and shoot him in the face when he attacks you. <laughs> nope. Instead, he he kills me with a tiny little bone saw. Peace. Alright, it's almost seven. Can we get anything? It's crazy that he doesn't at least... That he doesn't have any interaction with the body reports at all. Huh. Starting at 11. Group the cameras in three seconds and rapidly go between them. Uh, Airy Barry, thank you for the BAM donation. I don't know what that currency is, but I appreciate it. When are going to play multiplayer horror? Uh, we played that yesterday. We do community days with Phasmo sometimes as well. But, uh, not very often. Is that a package? No. I'm not even bothering with the... With standing up right now because clint hasn't even started talking to us there's gonna be another thing that we can learn if you can die it's already seven there should be a report there's no that blood i don't think so there has to be something something out here hiding in plain sight no one is getting it we don't have open windows is there more reports this is also another thing that we just have to be better and get better and better at um the more reports we know about, the easier nightmare mode is going to be because all we have to do is literally just look at like the things that we know. Is that mon is that a pile of money? I don't think so. We might as well throw a high value out there. Quickly check if there's any suspicious shenanigans going on. I don't think that's going to work. Blood stains in the parking lot. We'll see. Wonder it no. That's not blood, that's not blood, that's not blood. Wait. Oh, that's just a trash bag. That's not blood. I don't think there's blood here. It's just really random whether or not you get these early reports sometimes. Maybe. Maybe we're just missing them. But I feel like that is silly. Because we got so many eyes. Avoid suspicious reports altogether. I don't... Because we didn't... We got a single suspicious report. Right? Of a bag? Of like a... I guess that could be another, like, strategy, but... I don't know about that one. The yeah, Adam increased the RNG. Yeah, we're just gonna have to flick away from him really quickly. I mean, that is... That is an Adam-style mechanic. Like, if you look at him for too long, he kills you. And if you look away immediately, you... Because that was literally the first thing that came to mind. But then I tried it. But I guess it's really, really, really precise. Like, you have to look away. This is a high value, right? Is it? You have to look away, like, fucking instantly. There's a new code. We have... 75048. Oh, boy. 7, 50, or, oh, fuck. Yeah. It's gonna be... I mean, I guess we'll be able to test after we see him. Like, do we just look away from the cameras at that point entirely? Because the thing with something like that is that... It doesn't require any planning or whatsoever from the... How are we fucking getting no reports, by the way? It's already 20 minutes. It's insanely unlucky. No windows open. Like, and we can just look at the cameras 100% right now and we're still not getting any. That's package is still there. Maybe that was literally the only thing. Kind of messed up. I have the flashlight, right? Yes, I do. What if you don't have the flashlight when the Mill Noir shows up? Are you just fucked? <laughs> you just can't do anything? Just die. There's a laptop! Aha! Laptop amongst the other monitors. Okay, Lucas, you're almost done explaining. The elevator music always gets stuck in my head after I play this game. 
Right, well, that's that's the quota right there, but we really would. I guess it's just very random in which uh, parts of the hour they the reports come in. Which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping they would come in early. You have a package, package at four C forty five minutes. Okay, is he done? Four C forty five minutes. Four C is such a shitty room, man. Okay. Laptop's still there, but we already reported that. And, I mean, there might have been a suspicious report in that room, you know? You can see that. Yeah, once... It's gonna be tricky, dude. <laughs> I guess if we literally flick the camera away as soon as he, he shows up, we'll be fine. Zynga, thank you for the 21 months. If I played Don't Scream. Yes. Eric, Eric and Barry, thank you for the five gift subs. What the fuck? Okay, there's just nothing fucking happening right now. And we should have just multi-tested those theories. That could have been interesting. Can anyone spawn in the bathroom? Yes, but... I don't know what's happening right now because we're literally getting fucking shafted by the reports. We're still playing. Are we just getting? We're just getting really unlucky RNG, I guess. This is so weird because last time when we were at this point, we were already had fucking six reports. Oh, there's a high value there. Now we're not even. We're just. We just got one rollover point. What if it's actually that you cannot get any rollover points? If you get a rollover point, he kills you. <laughs> Imagine. That would literally just fucking deal with them. Like, that is not worth at all. The rollover points are completely required. Without them, you cannot beat the, the later stages. We still need to report that or deliver that package. Uh, fuck me, man. I want to at least report one more thing. No shadows helped? Yeah, I mean, we're not doing no shadows right now because we want to... We want to see the shadows that the Noir casts on the floor, supposedly. We don't know if that's true. I'm not seeing any shadows. Apparently very subtle, though. Probably something really stupid like you can't go to floor 5. <laughs> Door unlocked. Well... I'm reporting this now. If we die within 30 minutes, the quotas... We didn't get any reports anyway. This this run sucked. If we die, we die. Oh, didn't die. Seven forty nine fifty. Nice. No Noir, no Lucas. We totally safe. Okie dokie. Uh, that high value it, we already got, right? I hope, because it literally just disappeared. Ah, uh, there's a peep. There's a fucking dude. Then? Is this a ghost hunting game? Depends on... No. <laughs> it is not. It is in fact not... The laptop is gone. I mean, we saw some new ones here, even. It does have that same screw nice thing, where you basically have to be as paranoid as... You have to be paranoid as fuck from the very beginning onwards, or you just die, eventually. Like, you... Even though the dangers aren't as uh, menacing in the early game, you still gotta go ham with the with the paranoia because otherwise you just like that one time you get unlucky you just die uh you are still there they have breathing animation i don't know okay four this is excruciatingly unlucky right here we've gone uh 
found two or two bonus reports you should be anywhere i mean i'm probably missing them but like you guys aren't saying anything either so i don't know maybe they do spawn in the shadows the package is is real yeah we need to deliver the package fuck all right once you see that noir you can also chill a little bit but i'm not seeing any noir right now Oh, thought I saw someone there. Blah, 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 blah. No windows open. No wallet right there. Dude, we're getting so... This is why I'm sticking around, because I think the way this works is that it just... So it spawns like... Um, it spawns like uh, between 8 and 10 anomalies or something in the first hour. Or maybe... I don't know. Um, maybe 6 to 10 or something. I don't know the range. But... Those can randomly show up in any part of the hour. So if you haven't gotten many reports, uh, do we do the do we need to do the package? No, we still have time. I mean, we have ten minutes past eleven to do it. Uh, you want to stick around at that end part of the hour to really quickly mop up those reports that are all coming in fast. But I don't know if that's actually true. That's just a football idea there. If, if they just randomly pick a point so that they could stack up together like you could have multiple reports all show up in the last five minutes of the hour that could be possible but maybe it's not but we're only at five right now which i feel is a criminal act from this video game i'm so focused on the shadow yeah the guy you need to use your fucking what the hell was that i thought it the, the window was popping in you see that Oh, come on. So there's a high value, but we already got that one, right? Ah, code again. We have five, six, two, one, three. Five, six, two, one, three. Five, six, two, one, three. Jesus. We might mess up. I mean, at least if, like, this has been confirmed that if you swap away from him fast. That we can learn how to do that. It's just, it's not that big of a deal to have the fall card. We're just, like, the main thing I want is knowing how to do it. Uh, the, the one thing that could happen is if he shows up on a camera that's, like, broken, right? That would be super messed up. Because then you can't see him. Do the package. Yeah, we should probably do the package. Let's just try and find one more report here. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, there's a fucking bomb there. I'm gonna say that's suspicious. Nana, thank you for the gift subs. Thank you. Suspicious bomb. Okay, so that I guess that's what we take. Now we need to go for the report or it's going to be ogre. I mean, we're just going to miss one, right? It's not the end of the world, but we want to avoid it. Maybe one more. One more before the end here. One more sneaky report. Because he doesn't show up before 11, I think, at least. I've never seen that. Fuck. Dang it. Okay, come on. Any any final things here before the hour swaps? There's a hack. Okay, we'll take that one and then we'll... So that's seven. You see, I was my theory actually panned out. Wait, what? Let's do one more quick pan through the cameras to see if anything else spawns. So that is still seven quota points in the first hour. It just wasn't until the very end that they started all showing up together. So maybe there is a... There's some truth to that theory I posed earlier. Okay, I think we gotta go for the package though, otherwise we're gonna miss it. Where does it need to go again? Oh god. 4C, that's so far as well. Fuck me. 4C, can we make this? <clears throat> YouTube lets you rewind stream. Yeah, that's really nice about the YouTube live stream that you can, uh... Like, you have the YouTube player, right? With the, with the YouTube player is so much better than the Twitch player. For some reason, they've just never... I don't know. 
I think the YouTube play or the Twitch players designed this way so people make clips more often because a really easy way to rewind something is if something cool happens, instead of rewinding it, you just click the clip button and then you can just get a, like a short snippet of that part of the stream. So now it's going to start like turbo stress mode. We need to start flicking through the cameras, which we might still mess up. I think if I mess up, mess it up this time, we're just going to roll with it and then like pose it as the most uh, reliable theory. Horsey. Oh boy. Dude, Johnny, thank you for the prime. I think it's also because YouTube and Twitch have such a different vibe. Like YouTube or Twitch is all about like being there at that time, whereas YouTube is more like binge watching, right? So there's literally gonna be people that come into this stream that instead of going from where we're at right now, they'll just go like, all right, goodbye. I'm just gonna go to the beginning and watch from the start. Whereas that's not a really a thing that people on Twitch would even want to do. Like, I don't think people on Twitch, like, open up the VOD. Like, oh, they click on a stream. Oh, the stream is live. Let me open up the VOD and start watching from the beginning. No, you just watch from from where it's going. <laughs> that's not a thing people do here. But that's definitely a thing people do on Twitch or on YouTube. Okay, 4C. Oh, you dickhead. I was too late. Dude, the fucking elevator is too damn slow, man. All right, well, rip. <laughs> Fucking elevator. Damn, we left like so early too. Good God. We must have been like literally, if I ran down that hallway, we probably would have gotten it. <laughs> Free package for me. <laughs> Yoink. Yeah, we'll do nightmare mode when it's out. It's not out yet. I can't time travel. Okay, so there was no noir, which means there might be noir here now, which is very fucking annoying. Code was five, six, two, one, three. Nice. Seeing a shadow. Okay, I am now mega paranoid, so let's see. How the fuck are we gonna do this? I don't know how we're gonna do this. So we missed the package by... What? 45 minutes? You find it? It's just wrong. It's just wrong. I... Huh? Am I stupid? No, I... Wait. Oh, no, no, no. I was fine. What? Wait. So on 10, it ran out, right? Wait, can it not go until... Wait, don't I have six more minutes? Is my math... My math is fucked, is it? Wait, huh? Oh, I was I was too late. Wait, we got the message at 25? Or at 15? Wait. Oh, it ran out at 11.10. Dude, fucking stupid. It's 45, not one hour. Oh, uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's 15 minus, yeah, yeah. Damn, that would have, must have still been, like, literally fucking in the same, like, we, when we entered that hallway, it must have ran out somewhere. Okay, I'm just freaking not doing anything, because I'm really scared now Del Falco can start spawning. So what do we do? We just get ready to, like, flick through it immediately? How do I do this? Like, we have to spot Del Falco right away and move the camera immediately? This is too stressful. I hate this game. <laughs> Lucas is going to spawn extremely soon here, yeah? Okay, get ready. It's going to be so hard. I th I'm just going to like... Oh god, hey, there he is. Uh, I'm going to mess this up, man. Do 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 Like super fast past all the cameras here. How the fuck are we supposed to spot anything then? Group the cameras in groups of three and swiftly go down them. That doesn't solve the problem that if he's on the last cam that you land on, then you have to pat. Yeah, like it doesn't solve the problem. Literally just being ready to immediately double click as soon as you see him, I think it's gonna be the way to go. A second is pretty long, right? 
If it's, uh, like, less than... You have a second to move away from him? Ugh. 25 seconds already passed, let's see. Are oh, you still there? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, the code went out. My, my theory is you need to find the toolbox. I insta-skipped him the first time and he still became a threat. That's what I'm saying. That's what I feel like I've already done. But people are saying this is the way to do it. I think he's done. And then the problem is going to be if I don't flick instantly, people are still going to be, well, maybe you weren't fast enough. Yeah, the timer doesn't reset anymore. Five, five, two, four, one. Uh, five, five, two, four, one. Goodness gracious. I mean, I, cause it's just like the range for him to spawn is too wide for you to be ready to. God damn. I think I'm going to, like, mess this up. Like, I feel like there's no... Po I feel like swapping fast is a terrible idea. Like, this is also a problem, because now he could be here, and then what the fuck do I do? Do I just die? Because I can't see, because the camera's fucked. <laughs> but this seems more like... I, I guess the, the, the reason behind making it so extremely precise is that it's more like a gimmick that you accidentally do sometime. Um... Rather than it being like a, a reliable way to skip him. Like, what if he's behind this mess here? <laughs> yeah, you should not report a dead body. We already tried that. We literally just tested that theory. That's the thing with these games. The fucking... Oh, you hear the police sirens? Go hide in the bathroom. Like, there's just... Because there's so much confirmation bias in a game like this. Uh, the desk lamp is still off. Whoopsie daisy. Gonna check this. I'm beyond stressed. I'm unreasonably stressed out. Yeah, the owl noises. Oh, you hear the owl? That means ta Tanner is here. Um, like, it's just... Did I get that? That was insanely fast. I swapped as fucking fast as I possibly could. That was fucking fast as balls. Can anyone clip that and see how long it was? I feel like that's gotta be fast enough. That was super speedy. Fastest flick in the West, dude. That's if that doesn't work, then there's no way to react to do this based on reaction. I'm just gonna wait for fucking like a long time now. Um, that was definitely less than a second. That was less than 0 0.75 seconds for sure, right? It has to be. It's about half a second. Can any can people on YouTube, if you use your YouTube player and you use the comma and period point keys on your keyboard, you can go frame by frame. Can you count the amount of frames? <laughs> that would be that would be the freaking mega scientific way to do this. And then we can like cons or assuming that the YouTube FPS is like or frames, I don't know. What the FPS is. 36 frames? Did you actually count it? <laughs> this man's committed to the job. So what do we do now? Do we just wait? And just wait for like a solid, I don't know how long. Like, uh, let's sit back at the computer and see what time it is. What time did we see him? Uh, 1141. I wish I could check other... I guess we could check other cameras. It was about zero... It was 36 to 37 frames. People counted on YouTube chat. Thank you, guys. 36 frames. That should be less than... Assuming it's uh, 60 frames per second. 
That should be more than enough. Okay, but we can look a little bit on the cams past here. We just need to make... Oh, they're suspicious. See, we still get an extra report as well. Nice. Dude, clean. So all I want to know now is if he's here. Like, I don't even care about winning this game. I just want to know if this is, like, a strategy. It's 0 0.6 seconds exactly. Damn, that was like... I was... Fucking hell. Okay, you got that one. Um... Once I get to the root, where in which camera did he show up? I need to make sure not to go all the way around. You, you didn't get a warning, so he's not active. Maybe I. So we actually fucking did it. A hotel room. We actually did it. So this is the strategy. I I kind of wish it was the not reporting bodies. I think that is lore wise more interesting. Um. I mean, this is, I guess, easier in the over or in the in overall thing. Oh wait, we have a message. Oh, that's probably the message from from the correct report. He might wait. Oh, he can try that. Wait, what if he keeps showing up now? Oh man, what if he like keeps showing up and if you keep flicking away fast enough? Wait, Adam sent a message. Let's go back to that camera to see if he's still there. We got a high value. Wait, did Adam post a message? I missed it. Can anyone repeat? I'm, I'm just like all focused on this now. I don't even care about winning. <laughs> yeah, people, many people have counted. It was all 37. So the frames were definitely good. Oh, he didn't post a message. Okay. Well, we're going to the camera now. We're almost there. So he was here, right? So we did it. We avoided him. He's fucking gone. So now what do we do? Did we get a package? Wait, I want to deliver that package to see if he shows up. I want to I want to try and deliver this package. Like we're going to miss out on so much quota points here that we're probably going to lose. Um See, I have a package that needs to be delivered. Okay, 10C, 30 minutes. Let's just immediately do that one. I'm gonna check the room first. Um, and then we see, cause he will, he will always show up. I mean, we didn't get the message, right? We didn't get the message from the shade. So we probably did it. Holy fuck. Wait for the signal to die? Yeah, I should if I was smart, but I'm just like, I literally just want to see if he's here. Like, he's probably not going to be here, but maybe the signal will go out. Uh, no, no, no. He will show up normally. He can show up when you have a C package as well. We've had this happen before. But you don't, you don't have to worry. That's cool, though. So we figured it out. We, we, if this works, we figured it out. We have uh, solved the secret of Del Falco. Flip away within 0 0.75 seconds and you will avoid him, which is not reasonable, but okay, there we go. I was hoping there would be someone here. Come closer. Don't. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. I need to be so careful of Lucas here. <clears throat> and I need to check because my, my signal is probably out as well. Let's hope it is, dude. This will be sick. Please. DUDE! THE FUCKING TIMING! INSANE! Oh, there it was. I need to check though. Oh, baby. Sexy. Okay, and now we deliver 10C. Oh, boy. Okay. And then hopefully no Del Falco. And then we did it. And then we can just keep playing. And if we die, we fucking die. It doesn't matter. We've solved the secret. 
Nice. Please don't show up here. Do not show up, sir. Alrighty, we did it. Let's go. We have successfully avoided Mr. Del Falco. Now the question is, does he try again later? Will he come back? And if I then not flick fast enough, he's going to once again kill us. I don't mind if we fail. There, at least we'll know, right? We'll see. I feel like he's going to try again. The code. Five, 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 two, four, one. Nice. Okay, any, no, any... We're so gonna die to something else, but it, I, I feel accomplished. Like, I feel there's a weight off my shoulders now, because at least if we die, we have accomplished our, our main task here. I have to get up immediately. Beep. I could just package delivered probably. Dies of stress. I'm still stressed out though, and don't worry. Okay, so we're under quota now because we fucking dicked around the whole hour because we were so scared of uh, <laughs> anything showing up <clears throat> or Del Falco showing up. So now we somehow need to collect some some quota points. It's gonna be oh okay okay that, that was probably not fast enough i was not ready for him <laughs> that is so stupid like okay dude i love how adam you know how adam originally told me that uh i was you know what he said in the chat why is insim on purpose spawning del falco i'm like my brother in christ this if you have to fucking Lick away in zero. Yeah, yeah, okay, Mr. Del Falco. So, I mean, at least we know. So, you have, like, this is a fucking stupid thing to even try to do. So, there is basically no point trying to avoid Del Falco because he's going to constantly be there and he's going to, like, make it impossible to get enough quota points. But hey, that is still good that we know it now. We're going to keep this run going just to see if we can live. Um, and if we die, we die. We have at least solved it. <clears throat> yeah, we got the message from Del Falco. Can anyone test that? It was 50 frames? Okay, wait. We binary searched it, dude. So 50 frames was too slow. So that was 0 0.83 seconds. So you have 0 0.75 seconds. You have three quarters of a second to swap away. If you're not in time, he spawns. That is fucking insane. <laughs> I feel like it should be a second if he wants to make it a fair mechanic, but... I don't think Adam wants to make it a fair mechanic, <laughs> to be honest. He's just like one of those. I mean, ultimately, it's so annoying because like at a high level, you should be able to... Do I mean, ser like what is the average hu hu human reaction time? Like, isn't it something like that amount of time? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's 0 0.25 seconds, but that is not counting spotting him and then also clicking away right there is like so much added and that is just bef that is before your brain even recognizes the threat in the first place that doesn't even count uh because you have to look anywhere on the camp because you could spawn somewhere secretly because there's some really sneaky spawns uh there's some it's crazy that he came back within like a few fucking seconds like he didn't even wait for... Oh, there's a package. Like, that seems kind of... Like, I, I feel like that would be a reasonable mechanic if he, like, at least has, like, an hour cooldown before he tries to show up again. But if he literally shows up, like, every 10 minutes, like, it's not worth to even try it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, boy. Okay, report is good. Oh, my God. Especially since cameras break, right? So if a camera breaks and Del Falco is on it, which I've had happen before, you're fucked. But yeah, it's, I mean, 
ultimately we know how to do it right we know how to do it um which is all i wanted to know and we've i lived long enough to see myself become the villain no i mean um to learn that he will show up again because that was the main thing i wanted to know like does he try again like the first thing you want oh i forgot to turn on this light the first thing i wanted to know is can you avoid him spawning and then the second thing is uh oh the code change Nine five eight nine four. Nine five eight nine four. Hey Lemon, thank you for the sub. Nine five eight nine four. Dude, Noir is gonna be so I'm just gonna only look at the at the shadows. If we die because we didn't see the shadows well enough, then we'll die. So yeah, he showed up. Six A twenty minutes! Six A Let's report one thing and immediately go for that. Uh, that's fucked up, dude. That's like no time at all. This is a setup. Come on. One thing. Just a single thing. Not too much. To uh, there's a pistol. Uh, defense. Boom. Okay, good shit. I'm not seeing any shadow. I'm not seeing any shadow. Okay, 6A, we go. Oh boy. We're gonna see. He said it. He he confirmed it. The dev confirmed it. 0 0.75 seconds is the limit. That's crazy that I was uh eight milliseconds too slow. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I tried alright. And now I mean to be fair though, that was me like Like, I, I, I at least felt like there has to be some kind of grace period, so I wasn't, like, full in, like, flick mode. I, I think that could have been done. Like, you just pay close attention. But man, is it gonna add an extra layer of stress to an already fucking insanely stressful experience? <laughs> Goodness gracious. That's messed up, man. Uh, the signal is still fine. I'm shining a flashlight on you. I'm assuming that counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bonus seconds. There you go. What was it? 6A? Was it? 6A, yeah. Oh boy. We're gonna be too late already. I'm fucking telling you. 6A is on the left, right? This is because Del Falco's gonna come and if we miss the package here, Del Falco's gonna ruin it for us. <clears throat> Dude, it's gonna be so nice to do a casual run again. And like dick around and die over and over again. Okay, 6A. Oh, Jamas, hello. <laughs> okay, nice. We did it. We got the package down. We devoided the Falco. Jamas. The death lever. Yeah, I can't fucking wait. <laughs> Alrighty. Code is 95894. Uh, 95894. It works. Check in the shadow. No shadows. Is there sh I mean, he already showed up earlier, right? We have to sit down and immediately stand up because sometimes dangers will spawn when you sit down into the computer, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Here we go. Uh, we got a high value. Nice. We're still over quota. I'm just going to stand up every time after I report something. 
Can you do anything in the bathroom? What do you mean? You can hide. Oh, baby. It's, I mean, especially what you could do to counter Del Falco is just never look at a camera for longer than 0 0.75 seconds. Just set up like a, a macro <laughs> to flick through the cameras uh, faster than that. And then stop it if you need to report something. The ultimate Del Falco cheese. <laughs> That's cheating? No fucking shit, Sherlock. That's why I'm saying it's the ultimate cheese. This is observation duty with extra steps. Yeah, if you want to boil it down to... to... its core components. Uh... We need to spot as much shit as possible. We're so gonna, like, run out of quota. Ryan, though. I'm giving it a valiant effort. What the fuck? That's scary. I mean, Matt, if he did one second, it might have been too easy. Th that high value we already got, right? I'm just gonna report it again. I'm not sure. The police! Sorry for standing up so much. It's just like literally you already saw us die to standing up too too little during this exact video. Like it just has to be done. Uh there's a body! I'm reporting it, Del Falco. Go Falco yourself, bitch. He's probably gonna start whistling at something that, like now. He's being like, what the fucking you piece of garbage? Op roast for real. <laughs> it should not stand up after like three camps, but I'm sorry. It's the paranoia. The paranoia is kicking in. It's cooking me right now. It's also because you're looking for different things. I should- I don't feel like I want to turn off more lights. I'd rather just have to- Because especially now that the- Oh, the code changed. Especially now that his timer doesn't reset, I feel way more comfortable having to wait a little longer. Because you can just like wait the exact timer, right? Why well, turn off the desk lamp? The more lights you turn off, the more he leaves. Or the faster he leaves. Oh boy. My favorite game from Adam. I mean, Welcome to the Game 2 is my favorite, but- it's just because it has the most going for it. Like, it's the biggest game from Adam. Um, probably still there. Yes. But John's chapter will probably take the crown once that releases. Although it runs the risk of being, like, far too hard, right? Because Adam said there's definitely not going to be a casual mode for John's chapter. And I feel like that's kind of a shame. I wish, because I really like casual mode in this game. I think it's very clever. Um, like it, it gives casual players that aren't fucking gamer gods a way to like interact with the later game mechanics. You gonna fucking leave? Okay, there we go. Just like the, the website aspect of welcome to the game too, right? Is, is real neat. But yeah, it, he does. It does take quite a long time. If you don't turn off those extra lights. We have zero two four five two. Zero two four five two. Helps people to get used to the game. Yeah, I mean, oh come on. Do we have a package? No package? Piece of garbage? We we need to go for this shit. Seeing a shadow, I'm not seeing anything. Go go go. Hi. That's it. Come closer. Don't. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. They freaking disappear. All right. Well, here goes nothing. So we need to just turn this on. I, we might be able to pick up the package, but we won't be able. We won't know where it needs to be delivered. Obviously, can't guess that. Do, 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 do. What's the goal in this game? To fucking survive. Do your job and survive the killers. That's the goal. Oh boy. It's the bonus seconds. <clears throat> We're at 1 p.m. No killers. There was a uh, Lucas just now, right? So we should be fine. Hope we get lucky here. Give me lucky. No lucky. People sad. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you. Never lucky baby rage. seeing anything not seeing any package we're just checking if there was going to be a package okay go because del falco you know what we should probably just trigger del falco right about time it would show up again i don't know if it's worth but we're doing it we're trying it i'm playing it too safe now <laughs> cool though i mean, like we, we we accomplished what we wanted let's see if we get falco uh, this is like the thing I've been trying. We just go onto a random floor to get him to come through that door. All right, unlucky. Because it's way slower to wait him out in the apartment. All right, come on, dude. You dickhead. You dickhead. The uh, Del Taco does not appear on floor nine. Well, he appears when you're in your room, but it's fine. Has anyone calculated the average time? No. Okay, let's see if we can... Should we just run it back with the... What was it? Zero... Zero, two, four, five, two... Now that we have to deal with these guys, I think I'm gonna do it a little stupid. I'm gonna turn off at least this light here, which might spawn more noir, but it's gonna help us get rid of Taco sooner. And we can still see the shadow here, right? We can turn off the rest. Fuck. I have played a Dead of Night. We played it twice. Oh, there's a suspicious guy. We are under quota, which is bad. Real bad. That's clamp. I'm just gonna be able to turn that off, right? We've also just gotten harder reports in general, to be honest. This, this, this playthrough, that's high value. Nice. No shadow. Like, I want to learn how to read those shadows. Like, what you're looking out for. What about the kitchen light? Yeah, that's what we used to turn off, but I just... I want to try and avoid having Noir spawn as much. I mean, I guess it's fine because I'm standing up a lot. Oh my god. A repair. Only Karina, thank you for the five dollar donation. Try to flip through their cameras as fast as possible, like in FNAF. That doesn't help you. Airport keys and kitchen, yes. Okay, so we're full, but we want to get as much quota as possible. There's gonna be Noir. I wonder if he's gonna make that longer on nightmare mode. That would genuinely mean that sometimes you just die. Because you have to repair your camera. <laughs> He's so stupid. Like, if you genuinely... I mean... I don't know. You can't really flick that fast, though. You will literally get, like, insanely overwhelmed. You flick every 0 0.75 seconds. Got those keys. Windows. 
would be nice if there were more audio cues in a game like this. Like, I feel like... Adam doesn't have many audio cues just because he wants to make people, like, paranoid. Like, super paranoid. I wonder how his games would perform in the box office if he just went... Like, because you could... There's totally, like, a version of this game you could create where it's just more forgiving. Like, yeah, it might be easier to beat. But there, like, imagine you just had a sound effect, like a sound cue of, like, Noir breathing down your neck. And then you would stand up and you would see them. Like, I feel, because I feel like having to do this, right? It doesn't bother me at all. Well, it's annoying, but it's like, I'm so used to so much worse because I've played Scrutinized. In Scrutinized, you have to do so much more shitty uh, checks every time. Do we have a package, by the way? Uh, 2 a 30 minutes you fucking dickhead you know what we should actually go for that let's report one thing and then go for that 2 a is such a shitty package report one more thing uh come on gotta be something active yeah, we need to go fast. What the fuck is that sound? That's not f the whistling. But it kind of sounds like it. You hear that? Oh, there's uh, something. Ease or a uh, high, high value. Okay, let's go for it. 2A. God damn. I'm not seeing shadow. Okay. Um. Go, go, go. Okay, 10 for this first. Davis. How do you avoid Del Falco? You have to flick away from his camera within 0 0.75 seconds. Which is really hard to do. Reliably. I did it once, and then he didn't arrive, but then literally 10 seconds later, he came... Or, well, not 10 seconds, but... Very, very soon after, he came back. And... Fuck. And I did, wasn't in time that time. I was 7 milliseconds too slow, or 8 milliseconds too slow. What a fucking skill issue right there. Camera okay, is still fine. I should try and go ASAP so Del Falco doesn't show up. Okay, two fucking A, dude. I've never had a package for one. I wonder if that's even possible. Oh, yeah, 80 milliseconds, whatever. Play Darkwood? I want to play Darkwood. Falco jump scare. We we got it earlier. We're gonna get a jump scare here probably if we fucking make it in time to the second floor. Because this damn elevator is so fucking slow. Yeah, nightmare. Nightmare you die if you miss one package or you do one wrong report, which is gonna be Goodness gracious. Oh god. 2A, right? Yes! Let's go! That's so good, dude. Nice. So we don't have to deal with this garbage uh, in the apartment. There's a jump scare. What? There's a jump scare when you sit at the table and Del Falco kills you? I mean, I want to see these jump scares, but <laughs> I also want to beat the game. We'll get one jump scare probably here. I don't know how if we're actually going to beat it. We're gonna give it our best shot. There's gonna be another threat. There's gonna be breather in nightmare mode. But I'm assuming nightmare mode will be a few days away for sure, at least. Because he just started majorly working on it, right? Started working on 1.1. Uh, it was zero. Was it the 025 
Four two four zero two four five two. Nope. It's changed. Mike Wazowski, thank you for the ten dollar donation. Neighbors really just have a boat horn and use it during their night. Yeah, they're fucked up. Okay. Two six seven two nine. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I don't know why I said at the computer. What the fuck was that sound? I'm so <laughs> I'm so paranoid. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just insane. Maybe I'm insane. Okay, there's a hack. Let's go. Um, I mean, we got a, a few reports over, but we're nowhere near the quota destroyer that we need to be. Like, good God. You need to be so much more ahead. That report is good. We, we got the package. If only we got that package before. And how did we get so many before? No shadow. No shadow. We good though. Cause then it, like if you can see those shadows, I already got this hack here. I got that phone already. It's crazy how short the timer is on some of these. No shadow. No shadow. Some of these uh, packages that you need to deliver now. Any horror recommendation? This is a ghost forewarned as an access point. I've been playing recently. Devour. All seeing eye achievement reports something in every category. I wanted to save that for the next video because next video we're going to try and get all the achievements. But it's fine. We we got it early. We're gamers. Wait, how was Wait. What we already reported an access point. What? We already reported an access point though, right? Why did it do they mean report uh an anomaly on every camera? Instead of every category? I think I think they I think it's a miss. I think the, the achievement is wrong. <laughs> I think it means every camera because I definitely have had reported in every category many times before Or oh, access Wait, oh access point was last. Okay, never mind. I guess that was last game when we died it, That's the thing. Sometimes these games start to bleed together in your brain. Jay, I, I think you might be right So it, it was just every category then this uh still the same. There's a suspicious dudo. Okay, we got five over. That's pretty good. Actually, I didn't realize we were stacking them up so fast. We still need to survive quite a long time though before we get anywhere. Do 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 do. Oh boy. That report will do. Let's go. Ah! We lived, bitch. Turn that off. This is where having no shadows is real nice, so you can hide better. Okay, let's see. This should be faster now because we have an extra light off. The beam of death. Shutter number five. We already got that one, yeah. No, any hum horror games with the jump scares that I liked? I think a bite at Freddy's was really good. Um, it's free, I think, as well. You can just get it on itch.io. I mean, it depends on what kind of games you like. Sometimes... Is it already gone? You're insane. My brother in Christ, he was gone. <laughs> I got faked, dude. Alrighty. <laughs> dude, I got faked out there. I should just not turn on my flashlight. Okay, I was like, oh, that was pretty fast. Alright, anyway. So, 
to summarize the video, I died there, but we've already been the uh, normal mode twice before, and we're, we have learned a lot that's going to be extremely useful for Nightmare Mode, which we will be doing. I see that hundreds of people have been asking it in the YouTube live chat. We will be beating Nightmare Mode as soon as it comes out, but... Um, we don't know when that will be. I'm assuming it'll be like somewhere like six days or a week from now, something like that. So then we'll be playing it as soon as it arrives. But anyway, uh, so to summarize, how to avoid Del Taco, you need to flick away from the camera that he's on within 0.75 seconds, and then he will not attack you. However, that will not prevent him for the rest of eternity. He will come back. Uh, so you will have to keep like being extremely ready to flick away within like less than a second for the rest of the run So I don't know you can try it at least like it's worth a try obviously if you can avoid it But uh, I wouldn't sweat it too much if you spawn him because it's gonna happen eventually anyway But at least we solved the secret of Del Falco uh, And we learned that you got to be a little bit more careful with Lucas and this laser because sometimes it doesn't show up for a while And then he fucking blasts you in the face. But yeah, uh, the video next next video I want to try and do casual mode where we beat the or where we get the rest of the achievements And then the only achievement remaining is gonna be the god gamer achievement aka beating nightmare mode which we will be doing as soon as that releases. But anyway, thank you so much for watching over on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash Instagram. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Alrighty. Okay, so for YouTube, we're going to do... Or for the people that are watching on the stream, we're going to do this now. We're going to do casual mode. But we need to say hi, YouTube, first. So get ready. Oh, Chris, thank you for the 5,000 biddies. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome back to Dead Signal. Last time we solved the secrets of Del Falco. I'll be talking about that as well in this episode. But if you want to watch the video where we figured it out, I'll link it over on the top right. In this video, we're going to be getting all of the remaining achievements. There's quite a lot of achievements left. Uh, or, well, there's five achievements left right here. And I want to do as many of the achievements I already have as well. Just give a little guide on how to get all the achievements in this game. And just have a lot of fun playing on casual mode. I also want to do... Um, several ways or i want to find out several ways that you can die or maybe avoid dying we're gonna play it crazy we're gonna play it risky it's gonna be fun i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go all righty we're gonna die a hundred dumb ways to die that's the plan okay new game here we go casual mode so we're, we're going on casual this time let's go full run thank you for the six months in advance Oh, he is not ending stream. Welcome to the YouTube live stream. Stream title, just li uh, let's see. Stream title. I'm gonna type type it. Getting all ach getting all achievements in Dead Signal, and then dash casual mode, so people don't ask. Um, alrighty, that seems good. <clears throat> the song is stuck in your head. Oh, baby, here we go. Alrighty, so we're playing casual mode right now because we're going to be extremely stupid. We're going to be dying, finding cool ways to die. Like what I want to try, for example, we need to learn a lot of the mechanics because once Nightmare Mode releases, we're going to need to know every little thing about every killer so that we can uh, maximize our chances to survive. The first thing I'm going to try to be stupid is turn off literally every single light turn off all the lights except i think because there's one thing i want to try uh can we turn off how do you turn off is this living room turn that off oh baby i should probably grab the oh no we can't grab the flashlight wait a minute i need to turn off all the lights because wait where the fuck is the Wait, why, why is there no green on the door? Oh, you can't see that from far away because one of the achievements... So we want to get all the achievements, right? Let me show you the achievements that I still need to get. Um, we need to get this one specifically. Blind delivery. Deliver a package with no lights on, including flashlight, which I don't even know how the fuck we're going to do that. Uh, we need to beat the game without missing any package. We need to get killed <laughs> by peeking too much. Uh, and we need to hide in all hideable locations. Uh, so yeah, that is gonna be tricky. I need to turn off the bathroom light. So let's hide here. Let's hide in the bathroom uh, Can I please how do how the fuck do you oh, there we go hide and then what we need to do is peek So we get killed by Lucas later. Uh, so that's gonna be one stupid way to die I'm gonna turn this off. Do you really need to turn off all the lights? 
I guess we do. And then the bedroom, did I already turn that off? I did not turn that off. Okay, turn that light off. Uh, turn this off. Should I turn off the hallway light? I guess. Um, I guess I'll turn off the... Because I'm assuming all lights is including the hallway lights. But what if I go to a... Wait, what if I go to a floor that has a light that's turned on? It's just for hallway, not the apartments? Yeah, but what if I go to a floor that has the light on? What the fuck do I do then? Wait, I'm so lost right now. <laughs> uh, fuck! Where's my light switch? I can't see shit, dude. What if I do this? What if I lower shadows? Oh my god, I'm a hacker. Okay. <laughs> dude, if you lower shat- If you turn off shadows, you can see in the dark. I'm a hacker. Easy peasy. <laughs> hey, it's a game about hackers. We're gonna hack, all right? Um, so we have to get the- we have to get lucky that the, the light is going to be off to the to the floor that we need to deliver the package because we obviously aren't going to go to every fucking floor turning off the lights. That would be ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, we need to lock the door. 18713. We should also hide under the bed here. I think there's only four hideable locations. Okay, this is another one. Hide here and get up. What I want to see is how fast you can die to Noir. And like, if you can play it really risky and still survive Noir. Okay, let's close the door. Uh, 18753? No, 18713, whoops. There we go, thank you. Okay, we should still focus on actually beating the game because if you've tried out this game, you know that casual mode is no heckin' joke. It is still gonna be very difficult. Uh, there's still gonna be uh, Lucas, Noir, no Del Falco though, luckily. However, what we figured out last time, which is why I wanted to do that run first, we have learned how to avoid Del Falco, which is gonna be maybe important on Nightmare Mode. I don't know if he's gonna make it even harder to avoid it. Basically, the way it works is that if you swap away from the camera with Del Falco on it in less than 0.75 seconds, you will not be attacked by him. Um, so that's, that's what you have to do. However, that's just one of the times you're going to encounter him. He will keep coming back over and over again until you fill that 0.75 seconds uh, challenge. And then he will uh, he will start attacking you in the hallways and in your apartment. So yeah, don't... It's, it's going to be very hard to avoid him the whole run. Imagine that was an achievement. Avoiding Del Falco a whole uh, game on normal mode. That would be insane. We got a high high value package. Uh, the goal early on is to try and get as many reports as possible to roll those over into the later hours. We need to survive until 4, uh, 4 a.m. I can actually still see the... I don't have a flashlight, though. I'm so going to get wrecked if the Noir show up right now. Wait. <laughs> you said it doesn't... It said, you said it doesn't count the, the, the room lights. I guess we should turn on the room lights then, huh? Let's try that first. We're just going to test, right? Science. If this works and we still get the achievement, um, then you'll know it as well. So you don't have to go through this painful experience. We'll just have this like this. Sleep on flower. Thank you for the 19. All right, so that's... Uh, we're already done with this hour. We could literally fall asleep for the rest of the hour. Although we would probably get killed by uh, one of the killers if we did that. Because this game is not messing around. Uh, turning off the shadows is actually like a, a reasonable strategy, by the way, because you can see some rooms way better. Like this room is, is way easier to see. However, on the contrary, uh, there's also... So there's two noir spawns, one in there and one in there. And apparently, I haven't seen it yet. That's something I definitely want to find out during this uh, video. Uh, apparently, you can see their shadows, which is going to be extremely important for nightmare mode. Because if you don't have to actually physically go to the bathroom and the bedroom to check for them then that'll save a lot of time, which is going to be very, very... Time is going to be of the essence when you play Nightmare Mode, because obviously there's going to be more hours. Uh, do we have a package? No package yet. You're just literally... They're literally just uh, starting to spam. A shadow on 50. I'm just going to run with the way we have it now. We'll be fine. Like, you can... I mean, I, so from so far... Oh, we already got this one, by the way. This was high value. So far... I haven't ha seen anything spawn in the shadow, so it's not like you need to do this shit. This is not good. He is a serious problem. Uh, and before you start yelling at me, why are you not playing Nightmare Mode? Nightmare Mode isn't out yet. It doesn't exist yet. So we are just learning everything about the game that we can to prepare ourselves to become 
one of, if not the first person in the world to beat Nightmare Mode. Probably not going to be the first because I don't think it's going to be as hard as Scrutinize. Like, Scrutinize, no one fucking even tried to beat it. Well, I think there were some people that tried, but then they realized how utterly bonkers it was. And then they were like, no, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah. We'll, we'll see how hard it's going to be. I think it's still going to be significantly hard. Like, it's going to take a lot of... A lot of planning but that's why we're doing what we're doing right now we are learning the mechanics to become the professional gamer the god gamer that you need to be god gamer beat nightmare mode even though nightmare mode isn't even out yet what the hell now there's other oh this is a high value there's other achievements as well um did he say about a package wait i don't know uh because i, I want to do packages did he say anything did not say anything okay there is uh other achievements that we already have that i want to try and get again just to do it here we want to try and report a good boy the dog here no running in the halls oh we could do that as well just run and die <laughs> jitters moved when you didn't when you shouldn't have strong start that's gonna be easy beat it on casual mode we're gonna get that file a report on a lady getting clean oh the code went off what is the code? Code is going to be 84973. 84973. 84973. Boom. Am I prepared for Nightmare Mode? That's what we're doing right now. Now, Nightmare Mode is also going to be insanely important to get as many. We know that in Nightmare Mode, that all the dangers are going to be active from the very beginning, obviously, because that's how all the hard modes and welcome to the game work which means that you're not going to have like a bunch of free time at the end oh there's a high value here you're not going to have a bunch of free time in the beginning to get those reports um honestly i mean i kind of want to make it to you know what let's just turn on the shadows by the way there's an achievement that we're failing right now but i already did so um which is actually kind of important because that means you would have to Turn, you have to choose if you want your shadows to be on or off at the beginning of the game. One of the achievements is never pausing while beating the game, which I obviously have already filled because I just fucking paused. And I think you also fill that one if you die because dying is pausing, but I don't know. I would have to ask other people, did anyone get that achievement while dying on casual mode? Uh, we already got this one. Um rarest thing would be Del Falco on the first camera. This game is easy. Tell me you've never played normal mode without telling me. I'm a short king. I am 186. It's uh, pretty average in the Netherlands, but I think it's relatively 188. It says 186 on my passport, but that was before I was fully grown. I'm, I'm taller with shoes, though. Because <laughs> you have to take off... That's so rude. You have to take off your shoes when they measure your height. Not fair. I want to wear my high heels to become taller. I have a package. Here we go. 8B. Okay. 20 minutes. Well, we might as well... Let's report one more thing. There's a suspicious and go for it. 8B. And hope that the light is off. It's probably not going to be off, but whatever. So we don't have a flashlight right now. So the light here is off. Check. So we're going to turn off the shadows here so we can... Oh my god, that's so broken, dude. <laughs> that is not how Welcome to the Game worked, man. And Welcome to the Game, if you try to do turn up your brightness, it just did not work. Okay, so... I mean, we can't really inf We're just gonna have to not... But what if there's a Noir now? Do we die? Are we gonna die to male Noir if he shows up because we don't have the flashlight? I think yes. Which is gonna just be a yikes. <laughs> Did I need not close the door? I don't think I closed the door. Whatever, it's fine. We're being stupid. I don't... You know what? Let's do science. Let's never close the door during this round and see if it works. Because I don't think you have to and that would save you some time. It wouldn't matter much, but it would save you a little bit of time. Lucas will kill you? Oh, well, I mean, let's find out. Just mean, like, these are the tiny little things that would be nice on Nightmare Mode to know. 
Lucas probably kills you. Uh, eight B, right? Um, I mean, you never know if you don't try. Okay, let's hope the light here is off. Please, no, no light. What if I turn it off? Will that count? Probably not. Maybe. No! I'm turning it off. AB is on the right here. AB, right? Oh, it counts, dude! <laughs> that is so stupid! Okay, literally just turn off the lights. Nice, alrighty. Well, uh, that's a very easy achievement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go back to normal now then. Let's turn back on the shadows and everything. Nice. So that's how you do that one. That's like, oh God, I can turn this on now, right? Because it doesn't matter anymore. So you literally just have to turn off that light beforehand and then you're fine. And we didn't get killed, but that might just be because we, there's no enemy yet. Eight, four nine seven three so the other thing that we need to do is never miss a package this round because that is part of the that is another achievement so we're gonna do that let's uh so now that we do are we at 11 i want to get to 11 so we have a checkpoint and then from that point onwards i just want to be an absolute maniac okay so let's just get to 11 first before we start playing like a insane person there's a dead body that's suspicious right there client received the package uh i didn't even wait the code changed why right does i sit down what the fuck um 52415 52415 52415 boom that's very suspicious indeed we got the blind delivery achievement we're trying to round off all of them Next one is get dying. Oh, we needed to hide up in the attic we, or in the roof. We need to remember that because there's two hiding spots there that we need to hide in. Grab the flashlight. That is a pretty good idea. Yes, <laughs> we should grab that for sure. Okay, so you're dead, whatever. Sorry that happened to you or whatever. I hope we're going to see the dog. It's been a while since I've seen the dog spawn in this... But you need to get the dog to get the report or to get the, the good boy achievement. No shenanigans. Really, the only things that I've ever seen spawn here is either Mr. Del Falco in the middle or uh, the things on the on the desk over there or on the dresser. Side table, I think it's called. Not seeing any shadows. That body is not a value, but there's, you can die by running. That's another achievement. It, casual mode is so funny sometimes because when you die and you reload a save file, some, some things get like completely messed up because the game gets very confused when you reload it, which is going to be funny. I haven't played on casual mode in a while. Honestly, like casual mode is so good in this game. Like... You heard that? There was like some whispering in the background. Uh, the fact that casual mode exists, like makes me want to recommend this game to basically everyone because casual mode on this game allows you to, this is suspicious obviously, allows you to experience what it is like to, if you've never played a welcome to the game like game, uh, Volrun, thank you for the 10 gift subs. It allows you to experience what it is like to play a welcome to the game like game without the like extremely painfulness that is like beating welcome to the game one or two because it's like more casual that's why it's called casual mode dude we're already eight over report right or seven or six over insane he's absolutely cracked out of his gourd i feel like there's gonna be at least one killer that shows up before the end of the hour here so we should be careful what if there's a killer active while the save happens do you just do you get soft locked or whatnot it's just or just just not safe i think it welcome to the game 2 had a weird saving system uh that leg is still there i already got that one don't worry about it uh, we, we're, i'm being extra paranoid right now i'm not gonna be this paranoid the whole game but i just want to make sure we don't die before five minutes pass here the foot looking real good 
Oh no. Not the food fetishes. Gotta be something active. Be careful though, is that door open? What if it's another leg? Yeah, it could be. Alright, we're almost there. Come on. I don't know if time goes faster. I think it doesn't go faster compared to normal mode, but it's just one less hour, right? What? I thought there was a dude there for a second. I thought there's just one less hour you have to deal with. Dude, Noir, I know you're going to be showing... I know we're playing casual mode or whatever. But you're definitely going to be showing up here. I can feel it in my bones. How long does it take for a minute? I think one minute IRL. Dude, fucking foot's still there. One minute IRL is three minutes in the game. If we fucking die before these next two minutes, I will become the Joker. Because once that save point gets unlocked, the gloves come off. Let me quickly check here. That's when the madness starts. As soon as, so the first thing I want to try when Lucas shows up is run through the laser like an absolute maniac. <laughs> because uh, I wonder if that's a... Like, I wonder how forgiving it is. Like, when will he shoot you? Can you just, like, run back and forth through the laser? My question. Because that's going to be so important for nightmare mode. Because then you can keep on all the lights. And you could just run back and forth through the laser. Like an insane guy. And then turn off the lights while doing that. Okay, we have got a save point. Save point is at 11, so now we're good. Now we can be stupid. It's it's time to be dumb. What I... Oh, no, there's no Delphalco. I was thinking... Wait a minute! Speaking of cheese... I don't know if I was talking about cheese, but speaking of cheese... You know in normal mode, there's save points? Oh, the code changed. Um, what if... When you accidentally spawn Del Taco, you fucking load your save point. <laughs> uh, wait, I thought it was... Yeah, it's 54120. 54120. Isn't it? Yeah, there you go. I just, I just, people were saying other code, so I got confused. Okay, nothing. Let's see. Um, Dead Signal Live. What a title. I never even realized that it is kind of... Oh, that's not suspicious. That's high value. This would kill you on Nightmare Mode. Nightmare Mode, you would immediately die. We're already five over quota. Give me the fucking... It's high value. Dude, Lucas, can you please show up? I really want to have... I want to keep the light on here for now because I want to run through Lucas's laser when I'm in the light. We'll see. Oh, we also need to die, right? We need to get snipped. S getting snipped is one of the achievements. The Adam lower the report. There's one less report on casual mode than you need to do on nightmare mode. So we're going to run our way to the bathroom and then get snipped. Basically. Or we... I don't, th I don't think you can get snipped by... Del Falco. Oh, you can't. I keep thinking about Del Falco because we've been playing on normal mode so long. Normal, the, the, the casual mode doesn't have Del Falco. I wish you had an option for it, though. It would be really fun to be able to try out going against Del Falco. Right? Like, so you can learn his mechanics. But I guess that's... Oh, hello. I think this... I think this guy is an achievement. I think reporting him gives you the suspicious man achievement. But one of these guys. I think so. I think this is related to this achievement right here. Well, file a report on a specific event, but I might be wrong. It's one of these type of guys. It is him? Okay, so yeah, that is another achievement, even though I already had that one, obviously. He's just standing there menacingly. He's just chilling. I don't know why it's an achievement. We need a good boy achievement. Where's my doggy? We already got these credit cards, but thank you for looking out for me here hey uh mr lucas could you please show up and start pointing your laser through the room i forgot casual mode is so much less aggression i'm not seeing any shadow that's another thing i really want to know is how you can see the shadows 
of when they show up in the bathroom. Because that's going to be so inc That is might be the most important piece of knowledge for, uh, obviously that guy's still there, for Nightmare Mode, because there's no way you could possibly beat the game if every single time you'd have to get up walk around slowly because you can't run because it'll kill you because noir uh and then go here check if there's noir and then go back to the pc we have shadows on shadows on right now don't worry about it mystery man might be related to john's chapter i don't know here's a hack dude look at our fucking reports seven over quota he is damn insane with it Okay. Give me something else. We got... This is so much better. Now, I don't think he changed anything about casual mode. I think casual mode is very, very well balanced. Because it's... It also doesn't have that much... Like, there's not that many stakes. Like, there is in... Uh, can you fucking leave? When you play normal mode, because normal mode, you know, like every time you die, you have to reload and or you have to restart from the very beginning. I already got that laptop here at least. Dude, Lucas, you fucking dickhead. Here at least you have that safety net. Like obviously it's annoying to have to replay an hour, but it's oh boy, so much better than having to replay the whole thing. Um. Not many reports in this hour yet. Most of us, most of these reports were from last hour, right? Give me doggy. Doggy report. The eyelash in my eyeball. And it's very annoying. I apologize. God damn. John's chapter is going to be very cool. John's chapter is probably going to have like purchasable things again. Because that's like one of the main differences between these games and like a regular. Did we already get that one? These games in a regular welcome to the game like game or welcome to the game game not a, this is definitely like welcome to the game But that there's not like upgrades. I mean, I guess that's only welcome to the game too, right? What's the f can you buy anything in welcome to the game one? I don't know if you can I think it's only welcome to the game too So that is the what the fuck there's so many laptops everywhere. Is this our report this one? It's just exclusive to uh, the Welcome to the Game 2, which is honestly one of the main things I really, really enjoy. But well, Scrutinized, you can buy like a few upgrades, but nothing like, nothing physical. It's all software. It's not like um, Welcome to the Game 2, where you can buy like physical items that you can play in the map, a place in the map somewhere, which is really cool. I want to do another playthrough of Welcome to the Game 2, where I buy every single item, like the professional achievement. That is such a fun run. Because you get, like, so many... Oh, there's a PP, but I need to... Yes, I was thinking that. Okay, so we're gonna die probably, right? I lived? <laughs> I'm gonna hide and die. Wait, that actually just works? Okay, are you ready to... Look at that. <laughs> we need to peek and die, right? This is an achievement? What if I just stare at him? Will he fucking blast me? Oh! <laughs> That's how you get it, baby. <laughs> get snipped by peeking too much. There we go. We got the achievement. We got 10 out of 15 uh, events there, by the way. All right. So that's how we get that achievement. Continuing. I'm not restarting, baby. <laughs> he will. Sp I wonder if you could dodge that. He came to he came like pretty fast towards me. What if you close the door when you do that? Will he still snipe you through the door or something? Probably yes. Um, this is, this reloads me at 11, right? Where am I going to spawn? I, for, I haven't done this in a while. I'm just spawning here. Okay. Uh, good stuff. So we're back at this. We still got four over and we're back at 11. 52415 is the code. Uh, once we get a new package, we need to go... Did we report the package? I'm assuming we did. We need to go back up to the... You know what? I'm not going to hide in the bathroom to just see how this... I, I'm, I'm starting so many sentences without finishing them. Um, 
we need to hide in the upstairs or in the rooftop hiding spots because those were the ones that we didn't do yet but what i want to know is does this because in welcome to the game 2 when you reload the game it like resets all the statistics for achievements which is really stupid um because I, I'm the only one to ever... I know I keep saying that, but it's just true. I'm not trying to brag. But it's just like I routed an all-achievement speed run for Welcome to the Game 2 that no one has since tried. I wish people did it because it's such a fun run. Um, but one of the major mechanics that we used in that all-achievement speed run was that you could reload the game to mess with some of the achievement statistics. So what you could do is you could get the professional achievement as well as the not buying anything achievement in the same run so what you could do i need to sit down at the computer or the time doesn't move i think uh, oh no we already sat down here so what you would do is you would buy every single item then you would get the uh you would get the achievement for buying all the items and then you would quit the game load back in and then in that same run you would get the achievement for buying nothing and still beating the game which obviously saved a ton of time for the speed run because you just ha didn't have to do a whole extra run because otherwise you'd have to do an, an entire extra run where you didn't buy any items to be able to get that achievement but you just completely bypassed that which i thought was really cool so the question here is is this going to be the same thing again so in order to get this achievement right i know i'm going on a full tangent but probably no one cares about this but this achievement right hide in all hiding spots so we already hid here and there in this run is it gonna save that we hid here before the save before we reloaded the save or does it not do that and you have to do it again which could mean for example that you can pause as much as you want as long as you reload the save at least once and then don't pause until you beat the game from that point onwards who knows maybe you can do something like that um that's a question because it does save the flashlight right it saves that you have the flashlight does it yeah it does okay anyway we should really start spotting some reports are we gonna die? I don't think we die necessarily to on purpose anymore. I mean, we're potentially gonna die to being sloppy. But let's try and make it to 12. Now, let's die once every hour or something like that. Or at least... Oh, we need to do package? 2C? Wait, huh? Do you get more packages this way? 2C, 45 minutes? That's an insanely annoying package. Uh, there's an arm. There's two suspicious. What the fuck do I do? uh you got all four hiding spots needed to be in one run yeah but like i mean if you reload within the same run does that mess with any of the statistics that's the thing report will do i'm gonna report again i hope that counts let's see i want to see this go through first before we go up to the package because there's two suspicious things here there is the the this and the this the count again it does count you get two okay so let's do this package now we need to do 2C, 45 minutes. It's interesting that we got a package that we didn't get before. Because last time, when we went through... Or we, when we... Uh, when we got here, we didn't have a new package yet, right? I think. So there's already some stuff weird with the reloading. The one thing that's annoying about a game with this type of achievements, right? With, uh like uh this this type and this type of achievement the good boy is that you can't really make a speed run i mean you can but it's just kind of stupid because it's just rng like if you don't get those then you can't do it any faster right it's just unlucky i mean you don't really want to do a speed run when nightmare mode is part of the achievements <laughs> oh hi we could get the move while she is That's but i'm not gonna do that come closer did you get an achievement for moving and dying to her but i'm not gonna Don't. do that one two three four five six seven eight nine and bonus second right he did it he did it Okay, so now we hide up here. Because we want to see if we get the achievement. So hide this one. I went through. 
and then we hide on the other side and then if we get the achievement we know it saves stats better in this game and if we don't then we know it doesn't save any statistics like that we don't get the achievement so it does in fact not save the statistics unless there's another hiding spot that i don't know about there's only four hiding spots total right Oh, a second emoji. Uh, it was 2C all the way, right? Fucking hell, man. Well, that's important to know. Like these, this is the, this is why I love these games. And this is why I love Phasmo or something. Like Phasmo is kind of, has a lot of mechanics like this as well, where it really requires like deep knowledge. And it's those things that you think are completely irrelevant, but knowing, like seeing into the, into the mainframe and like knowing the fucking code, like you were, uh, <laughs> Fucking uh, Neo from the Matrix. Uh, it's very important if you want to do a speedrun. This is my. I mean, I don't think there will ever be all achievement speedruns for a game like this, where there's so many. Like, you need to beat it on casual mode, on normal mode, and nightmare mode. It just seems very unreasonable. Anthem, thank you for the prime. But still. If you want to know how to get the achievements yourself, this might help. It would be like a six hour run. Yeah, at least, because, I mean, longer. I think if you just did straight back to back. Um, like, casual mode takes an hour and 45 minutes. Normal mode takes two hours. And nightmare mode is going to take way longer, because not only is it going to have an extra hour, it's also going to have, instead of 15 minute hours, it's going to have 20 minute hours. So it's going to be... Literally, wait, like four, wait, four hours? Wait, so it's eight hours times 20. So 160, so two, two hours and 40 minutes. Jesus. <laughs> so that's very long, obviously. Okay. Uh, code wa well, I forgot. I forgot. Five, two, four, one, five, if it's still the same. Five, two, four, one, five. It is still the same. Okay, let's see if we, uh, get the achievement now when we hide here. What? Does the light turn off in the hall? Sorry, I'm distracted. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, hi. Why the fuck did my flashlight glitch out like that? Did this shit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. Okay. Anyway. We chill now. Five four two one five. Five four two one five. Boom. It's just fucking diff. Or wait, five two. Nope. Changed. I think. Unless I literally typed it wrong twice, like an idiot. Five seven zero two nine. Five zero seven zero two nine. I need to get some get some reports, but I want to see if we get the achievement. Hide here. There you go. Okay, so as I said, I successfully shown that it does not save these things in between rounds, which means that we might be able to get the no. You might be able to get the no pausing achievement by literally just quitting when you. Like when you reach, there's not, they're still here. They're probably going to be gone soon. Unless they're still there. I guess I'll report them. Um, I need to check. Oh, there's a hack. I need to check. If there's going to be, like, if you want to get the no pausing achievement, you might be able to just, what? You just quit on the last hour and then load back in and just not save for the, or not open the menu for the last hour. But I don't know. I can't test that anymore because I already have the achievement. But you would be able to do that. Or try it out at least. 
Okay, we got a report. We have 10 reports. Holy shit. We're insane with it. Uh, I would like to... I see blood there. No, I don't see blood there. I need to check because there's going to be Lucas soon. So we're looking for shadows right there. Shadows right there. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing Lucas, so I'm going to do it. I died to Del Falco. Yes, we did earlier. That, that looks like blood, but I think it's just the bitrate killer here. Get up immediately because this fucko. So you can... I'm doing something stupid. So you can literally just fucking do that. That is so dumb. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? You could just run through the laser like a maniac. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Um, hide. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> what a rush. <laughs> bathroom peek. We already got the bathroom peeking achievement. We got two achievements already. We have, we literally only have the beat the game without package, but we would like to get some of the other ones, right? Uh, I don't think we're gonna maybe necessarily get these anymore, but we would love to get this one. This one we have for sure. Uh, squeaky clean. I remember that one. It's like the one lady. Neighborly is extremely RNG dependent because there is, uh, so there is 10 floors. So there's 30 different rooms, but one is yours. So there's 29 total uh, packages you could get. And one of them gives you that achievement. So a one in 29 chance every time you get, uh, you get a package to be able to get that achievement is kind of fucked up. Is he there? This is how we died last video. When the, the, you couldn't see the laser, but we walked in the in the room with the flashlight and we immediately got blasted, but I think he's actually gone now. So yeah. Uh, I need to check for Noir immediately because they sometimes respawn. Can you sit down? I look for things. We're almost at the next hour. Would love to actually live, but if we die, so be it. Uh, high value. That dude, we got fucking nine reports over a quota. <laughs> Insane. I should probably, you know what I should do? Can I see this light? It's probably kind of stupid. But I want to spawn Noir more frequently. Wait, that's a different light. Oh, wait, the, huh? Wait. Oh, this light and this light are connected. Interesting. Like, I kind of want to see the shadow show up. This is too fucked. I don't like this. <laughs> so, I want to... Oh, you're going to be able to see that easily and that maybe. So I want to turn off a few more lights to get Noir to spawn more frequently. So we can maybe see them show up. So I'm literally putting myself in more danger now just so we can do some science on this. So we might die here but it's worth it because if we learn this knowledge for nightmare mode it's gonna be insanely valuable so right there you would be able to see like a person standing in the doorway but only the shadow and here similar it's gonna be hard to see that one maybe on the door you would see a shadow i don't know in the name of science no blood no windows. Oh, there's a hack. Nice, dude. We got fucking 10 reports over quota. Are you damn mad? Is that a head shadow? No. We just need to see it once so we can take note of it. And then once you see it once, we're going to be able to use that. Now. I mean, I guess we'll run into it when we try nightmare mode, but it's good to know it now. So we already have a head start. When it comes to nightmare mode. And I just like knowing those little pieces of information that like allow you to play in a more risky way or a more optimal way in games like this. And over quota. Okay, we got the next checkpoint. Let's go. So we have a... We are still seven over quota and it's the next... Oh my God. We have a whole hour to get extra reports here. And they're all going to just be over quota. Oh, there's another hack. <laughs> Use app. 
That just got the shit out of me. Did I turn shadows on? Yes, you have to have shadows on, obviously. Do we need a package? Three... Three A, we need a package. We should report that, or we should just do that. Wait, we didn't already do that, right? Three A. Let's go to three A. Right. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. Hi. That's it. Come closer. Don't. One. Two, we could get like. Oh, huh? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Why did she kill me right away? <laughs> Wait, huh? Why did that where did it go like that? That was not 10 seconds. No, I know. I just I saw someone that was like, hey, you could easily get the dying achievement here. And I was like, Why not? It was literally just we just hit 12 o'clock, right? So we didn't lose anything, and it's gonna allow us to see if there's anything interesting here. Uh, cause we we just hit a checkpoint. <laughs> she gives a second chance. Weird. Will we be able to see her disappear? I'm assuming it saved that. Yeah, yeah. See, we didn't lose anything. Do we still have that package? We still have three A, so we just go, I guess. Just do the package. Uh, we still have the flashlight. Is she gonna be here again? Oh fuck, I was hoping she would be there. Same code. Don't forget the lights. It was fine. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. It was all intentional. I wonder if you could look at her. I don't know. That was just weird. I don't... You should just not move, right? There's no advantage to be had there. Like, moving when you shouldn't be is just... Oh, she's... Wait, you know what? I kind of want to do something stupid. That's it. Come... <laughs> Dude, we got both the achievements. Look at that. So there's two achievements. I don't know if it's only in the halls. Get punished for running. You get punished for running. That's that achievement. Obviously, we already got it. And then this is when you move. <laughs> Dude, look at that speedrun achievements like this would be perfect how like if we were trying to make an all achievement speedrun this would be like ideal because you would be able to knock these out back to back without losing any time because that's the main thing you want to like avoid is dying at the end of an hour so that you have to play through the hour again this is literally just um like a turbo speedrun and now we go back no zoomies allowed have we seen the death without making the quota? It literally just pops up a game over and then you just lose. <laughs> There's nothing special. It's the same as uh, like when you run out of time and welcome to the game too. It's also extremely uh, uh, anticlimactic. It's literally just, well, game over. You lost. You played for like literally four hours, but you just Come lose. Closer. I'm not gonna move this time. <laughs> Don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. Alrighty. Just a little beak. No, you can't move at all. She will kill you. I mean. No! Did it glitch? Or is the package supposed to- wait. What? Oh no. Wait, are we gonna get the package achieved? Wait a minute. Did the package bug out? Did they... Oh, okay. If you have a package that you- if you gotta- wait, so you can avoid delivering all the packages this way? If you get a package, or you have to deliver a package, and you get that message before the save, it doesn't save the package. But I'm assuming we're still going to be able to get the achievement for delivering all the packages, because we didn't get a punishment for not delivering it. Like, you can't have your cake and eat it too, as a video game. You can't not punish me for not delivering packages, and then also not giving me the achievement for delivering them all. That doesn't make any sense. Package go bye-bye. 
That is weird, though. No package, no problems. We just avoid delivering the packages this way. Noir stole it. Unless... Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought that was a... That was a noir for a second there. Uh, it was five seven zero something. Five. I mean, I can just look. Five seven zero two nine. Yeah, that was it. Five seven zero two nine. Still the same. Um. And I guess I'll turn this off again, just so we can maybe spawn noir. I'm getting up too much to spawn noir. I need to open this. Otherwise, we obviously can't see the shadow and then turn this off to spawn more noir. Uh, nothing. Okay, so we're already seven reports over quota. That's pretty sick. That's a gun. We're insane with it. Come on, give me a noir. Give me one of the shadows, man. I know he can spawn there. He can spawn here. And I think he can spawn back there as well. I'm not sure. Casual mode is distressful. Casual mode is... Oh, God. Oh, my, you fucking beaters. All right. Well, unlucky. Open door and hallway. Why? I don't think you can even report. But just leave the door open. Whatever. If we die, we'll have some signs. God damn. Hey, Kills, what's up? What do you have to do in the war spawns of the apartment? Well, same thing, but you have to spot them. Because if you don't spot them, they will kill you. Which, that is the uh, annoying thing. More replay value than welcome to the game. Um, I'd say it, the fact that the difficulty is more balanced can make it a way better experience for a lot of people, I would say. I still think Welcome to the Game is just the more fun game for someone like me, but I feel like most people would enjoy this game more. Because it's like, the casual mode is just really nice. Like being able to, uh, being able to just have this like checkpoint system and like Scrutinized also has a checkpoint system, but Scrutinized is like a really patronizing ending. When you reach the ending, it says like, you beat shit mode, you're a baby. Oh, you beat baby mode, goo goo gaga. Where's your pacifier? Go, like, it's just so rude. Whereas this game is like, uh, it's just like, it's like a proper ending. Uh, not a proper ending, but it's just like, you beat the game. You're ready for normal mode. Like, it doesn't disrespect you as much. So it feels better to beat casual mode here than it does in Scrutinized. We didn't die. Maybe we do. Uh, gonna check. Probably the code changed by now. It is 45972. 45972. Four, five, nine, seven, two. It's like just too long for me to remember it reliably, but luckily we got chat coming in clutch with the code remembering. All right, let's report some things. We're still immensely over quota, which is neat. Is there Lucas? What? I saw the lights glitch out there. There's something glitching out here. Does that mean there's a noir behind this door? Wait. I don't know what that was. I thought... Is your mirror broken? Yes, it is. So they don't have to have a mirror. <laughs> thought I saw a noir there. Yeah, we should get a raise. I'm excited for a Threat Actor. It's a new game from the Cyber Rat developer. Which looks kind of sick. Cyber Rat, by the way, is also... High value here. Is also... Very cool. <clears throat> but it's like welcome to the game level of difficulty, I would say. Like that game is hard as hell. What's it about? It's like uh it's like Phasmo plus Welcome to the Game. Like there's paranormal shit happening. Like there's ghosts haunting you. And so you need to on one hand one end you need to like 
avoid or i think the system in the game is that you need to figure out where a hitman so d someone is trying to kill you by sending hitman after you so what you're trying to do is find out where these hitmen live and then you hire a killer to kill that killer so you do, <laughs> you do like an uno reverse card basically that's the idea of the game or that's one of the mechanics and the other mechanic is that you're like going insane you're hallucinating and you need to have enough money so you need to you need to i think scam people to get money so then you can buy pills which will increase your sanity so then you will not die to uh the hallucinations so there's like two threats there's both the hitman and there is the uh there's the hallucinations just like a mix of both this is very fun i know this uh thing here by the way we already saw that we reported it and i had a lot of fun with that game it was just really really hard it wasn't as popular obviously as welcome to the game because it's not by the welcome to the game devs wait we actually turn off all the lights now almost all the lights at least what do you think of this game is it worth 10 bucks i think this is a steal for 10 bucks for me like this is these are the type of horror games that I really enjoy personally. Like, I mean, they did crazy good on YouTube for me personally. They might not do, like, overall well on YouTube for, like, everyone. Uh, because they're very, they're, like, very difficult. They're, like, a niche of people that, like, really like to crack games. They're, like, uh, like, just crack the code of a game and learn all the mechanics. It is so dark right now. If you're just like a casual gamer, I would say this is probably... I mean, it's it's similar to Welcome to the Game 2. Like, if you like Welcome to the Game 2, you will enjoy this. It's 8 bucks. So it's also on sale, I think, because of Scream Fest or whatever. Or Scream, uh... Steam Scream something. Oh, you rate it out of 10. I mean... It's, uh... Depends on your perspective, right? Do you... Do you rate it as, like... There's just no way you can rate that, like, on a supposedly objective scale like that. It depends on what type of player you are. And what you're looking for in a game. Nor is, like... I mean, a, a, a number scale, like, 1 to 10 is not necessarily a problem. But I feel like it inherently has, like... The reason you'd want to know on a 1 to 10 scale what someone's opinion is on a game is so that you can then ask, well, what's your opinion about this game? And then compare it, which there's just no way you can fairly give two games a 1 out of 10 score. Like, I guess you could compare them against each other, which I always think is a meaningless thing to do because it's just like... It's not like you have like one... You can only play one game ever. Like, is there if there's two games and they're both fun, like if one is a... One is a 9, and the other is like an 8.5. Like, you can just play both of them. <laughs> you don't have to... It's, it's why I, like, think the conversation surround, specifically Ghost Hunting games, where people are always, like, spamming, like, Is this better than Phasmo? Worse than Phasmo? Uh, what do you think? What do you think? It's, like, such a pointless conversation, because they're, like... They, they... Like, different games for different folks, as well as just play both of them like <laughs> just enjoy both for what they are and like you can love the shit out of a game and only play it for uh like two hours and have an equal value as playing a game that you enjoy the shit out of that you play for a hundred hours like like it doesn't mean that the two hour experience when it was inherently I, I know i'm standing up a lot more this is because i'm going into like talky mode um doesn't mean that the two hour game was inherently worse than the 100 hour game i mean for a lot of people it might work like that but what does kek w mean it's an emote you can see it on the screen if you look at your own message you would see it it's a it's a it's a laughing emoji uh we're 10 minutes away and we got freaking 11 reports over quota did we already get this one I feel like we did, but I'm gonna just report it again. No harm in that. 
I mean, there would be harm in that if I was playing Nightmare Mode, because right now I would fucking die. Uh, nope, this report is not it. Okay, can I get a freaking OR, please? Oh, the code changed. 1132? 11323, what a code. 1323. I wonder if the package achievement is gonna count. Because that would change everything, like, entirely. If you can't, like, reload, basically. I guess you would have to make sure that you finish the package before the hour is over so that your save point isn't going to mess up the package. Like, if you die, you completely ruin that achievement. But I feel like it's going to be fine. I'm not seeing any shit. That's the shadow of the door handle, yeah. a package sitting there i mean this package that just reported a while ago here it should already wait huh wait huh you said the same package again wait 3a 45 minutes wait what oh okay wait so we can get it all right sure i guess we go see if it works let's see he ordered the same package twice? What happened? Hi. That's it. Come closer. Don't. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. I'm leaving the door open. I don't give a shit. I don't give a crap. Where does his arm go? My arm? Oh, my... I have... Invisibility cloak. Because of the green screen. Well, I don't... I mean, I use a green screen, but... Look at this magic. I have a green screen, but even if I take down the green screen, there's still a green screen. How is it possible? There's a green screen, but you don't need to have it up because I'm using NVIDIA broadcast. <laughs> it's fucking magic. All right. I mean, NVIDIA broadcast is like the green screen ability or the green screen feature is like amazing. The, is there, there's a package that just actually worked. The, um, I would, never ever recommend using the the audio thing because the audio thing actually sounds really really bad if you i mean it depends on what kind of games you play if you're a fucking like office worker and you go into where did we 3a and you go into zoom meetings or something like then it's nice because you're not going to be scared screaming in a fucking zoom meeting but as someone who plays horror games where there's lots of times you have to scream or you talk fast or loud or high pitched like NVIDIA Brockus is really bad when it comes to, like, sudden pitch changes. It'll just fucking remove your voices if it's noise. Like, it'll just delete your scream. Um, which if you, wa if you watch back, like, a, a year ago when I was using it, constantly my screams would get cut out, so I just decided to stop using it. Yeah, it gets rid of all the noise in the background, but you can just get rid of the noise in post. Like... It's annoying. It's a little annoying for stream sometimes. Like if my computer is really going crazy or it's like really hot. Um, 3A, right? And I'm using like fans or packages over there. You can hear those fans a little bit. But for the video, the YouTube videos, that's not a problem at all. Because it's just like I can, I can post process it. The post processing is way better than the live processing of the audio. You need to scream during a Zoom call. You just mute yourself. But it is pretty impressive. Like, you could literally have someone fucking vacuuming behind you with NVIDIA broadcast turned on, and you'll hear zero vacuum. Like, you'll hear it. It'll sound robotic when the person is talking. Like, when they're talking, you can hear that there's something being filtered out, which sounds kind of robotic. But it's pretty damn impressive. Um, I didn't get killed. Maybe I'll still get killed. It was 11321, one, right? 
Or 323, three, sorry. It worked. You live, bitch. Alright. No noir, or at least no shadows that I can see. Am I gonna immediately die to noir or to Lucas here? Why? So my door being open doesn't matter at all? <laughs> I was assuming we would die. Okay. We got the. The package, I assume? Okay, the package is good. But now the problem is. If this fucking if we die and we're gonna get reset the package we're gonna have to deliver it again but then we have to wait for another message that is so strange it's such a weird bug why is noir never in the room strange because we're at one again we still got fucking eight reports over quota that is a high value nine reports over quota Scratch that. False alarm. I want to get new reports. I want to see new things to co-change. It's 10850. 10850. Uh, 10850. Boom. Beep, beep. Fuck crafter, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Pepsi man. Coming. Wonder what kind of new killers there's gonna be in uh, in John's chapter. I'm assuming we will see a return of the the old faithful, the Lucas and Noir. Guys, we'll definitely see the character. Spoilers for the ending of. Uh, of dead signal here but we'll definitely see the character we are playing as right now come back in john's chapter because if you see the ending we already got this right if you see the ending of of this game you actually join up with the the evil people is that suspicious i think so which is kind of cool the war ronald and they're like uh they say that you'll come after John, the character you're going to be playing as in the next game. Uh, we are 10 reports over. Could we literally just like... How many reports do we need to just like not have to do anything anymore? We just sit under the bed for the rest of the night. <laughs> oh, I guess we have to report packages or we have to deliver packages. We want the achievement. So we're not a very good person. I mean, we're literally like our job is to fucking like steal from people, right? We're reporting like high valuable items so other people can come in and steal them. So yeah, we're not a very good person in this game. Like just the task that we're doing already is not very good. That's 11 reports, dude. If it's gonna be, it's up till 4 a.m., right? So it's gonna be four, five, six. So wait, so 15? Wait, huh? Are we already done? Do we need 15 reports total? <laughs> so that, wait, one. Wait, we're done? <laughs> so it's good. We're gonna be at 11 after this. Then we're gonna be at six after that. And then we're gonna beat the game. We are, we don't need to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we win the video game. <laughs> Wait, what? Am I seeing that right? I mean, we gotta report some packages. I'm the hot. Oh, come on, you dickhead. I don't know. I want to get as much over quota as possible. Okay, well, we're gonna have to turn that back on. I was hoping we'd see a package. I kind of miss Mr. Taco. He's so fun. I really like the taco mechanics. Like the fact that there's some kind of small, if not kind of meaningless counter to him. Plus he has like this cool lore. It feels like Dolemaker, right? Like Dolemaker is like my favorite enemy in Welcome to the Game 2 because he's like this optional character. But um, we're good. Look at shit. Oh god. Uh... 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. You're fucking terrified. I need to not have the light on, otherwise I get blasted here. Come on. Oh, no! Get off! Woo-wee! <laughs> Goodness gracious. So he's only, be, he's only gonna be here for seven seconds, according to the developer. Because if you have all the lights off, apparently it only lasts. So that's seven seconds plus one bonus second. So he should be gone now. That is insanely short. That is very good to know for nightmare mode that you can um that you can literally only hide for i mean maybe the timers are going to be different on nightmare mode right but cool he could have i felt like he was going to shoot me there i don't know why he didn't <sighs> yeah i know the laser doesn't insta kill you we already tried running through the laser back and forth that, that was one of the crazy things we tried during this round Like I need, uh, we need to obviously have nightmare mode to be able to like truly test some of the like uh, edge case mechanics. Hi, lady. Desert. Come closer. Don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, bonus second. It's actually two bonus seconds, by the way. It was I fucking don't remember. Oh, ten oh eight or ten eight fifty. Not anymore. Bonus seconds. Uh 413 413 boom welcome Kubak. what's up okay we good um got the package i assume wait no we didn't have a package we have to turn back on the computer they're suspicious we still need to like we want to get as many reports as possible uh because we want to learn as many reports as we can for nightmare mode. Like if there's any sneaky reports, we want to be able to, or we want to know that we have to look out for them. Okay. Oh, there's a package now. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's just deliver this package 8A. Because I don't, I want to do that before the hour passes. I mean, we have to do it before the hour passes anyway. Are you going to be back here? You're not there. I'll just leave the door open, see if we die. Do, 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 do. Why don't they deliver the package like... I wish I had a balcony. They could just deliver it on the balcony. That'd be way easier. Yeah, we beat normal mode twice. I mean, I'm gonna play normal mode more. But... Uh, there it is. Can you do the thing? Wait, we need to try. Welcome to the game two strats. Can you catch the package? <laughs> you can. I wonder if that bugs out the game similarly to what happens in Welcome to the Game 2. Because <laughs> in Welcome to the Game 2, when you do that, it actually completely fucking ruins the game. Uh 8A. We'll see. There's, there's like a really weird bug that if you spam it like that, for some reason after that you can't get any more packages delivered. Which, I don't know why that's the case, but it is what it is. So if that happens here, then we're not going to get that one achievement. But by just beating Nightmare Mode, you'll have to get the achievements. 8A. 
Because, can you pick it back up and place it somewhere else? No, you can't. It's just a one and done kind of deal. If you deliver it wrong, you're just fucked. Yeah, I think the main thing, like the main difference between this one and, or like, that you immediately notice between Welcome to the Game 2 and something like that signal is not having like a, a downstairs lobby outside. I mean, I guess you have the rooftop, right? But you don't have like the... It feels less connected. And especially if you've watched uh, Adam's stream, you know that they're literally not connected whatsoever. Like when you go into the elevator, you literally get teleported to a different... Like the, the floors are all in different areas of the game world you just get teleported around so um unlike in welcome to the game 2 where every area is like uh, connected physically because you have to walk down the stairs we've upgraded oh high value there's money can you wrong warp i don't think so Master of Horror, thank you for the prime. Okay, are we close to the hour? We're close. That report will do. We got 18 reports. We're insanely over quota right now. Unbelievably cracked. The door is open! That's literally the first time I've ever seen that in my life. Look at that. <laughs> door open. Not seeing any shadows. I mean, I'm getting up too soon, I think. Got so many laptops, this guy. Got a drone. Why don't you get your own packages delivered with your drone? We got that one. It's five more minutes. I want to get one more before the end of the hour. Just so we have 20. That achievement for getting over quota is easy peasy. I mean, it's basically required to get over quota. Otherwise, you... Oh. Otherwise, you just don't have enough time later on. I thought I saw him there, but no. Um, come on, one more. Two minutes? Give it to me. The door is closed again. There's like only four different reports in that room, I think. I don't think we're going to get anything. Whatever, we tried. 19 over quota is gonna be enough <laughs> We're insane. We need two more hours though So we need to make sure that we don't miss any packages. There we go. We got another checkpoint. We are still 15 over well 10 over quota Which is unbelievably high. You know what? Let's because we just passed the hour Let's be let's stand up once here. Wait a minute just so we for sure have the save point, right? And then I kind of want to really be super risky with noir and just sit at the computer. So let's sit at the computer until this hits seven. Let's try that. Because if we die, whatever. But I really want to see some more noir spawns in the room. Because we haven't seen any noir spawns. And if we stand up and we get killed, then we'll just load the, the save point. I mean, maybe maybe standing up at five would be better. Because at seven, you're for sure going to get killed. I'm not sure. Uh, report checks out. We got 16. Yeah, because this is... I would... I'm very... Bird. <laughs> Playing very risky right now, obviously. You would never want to sit down for this long, but... I mean, that's what you wouldn't want to do in normal mode. Maybe in... Casual mode, it's way more forgiving. I'm gonna wait until 7, and we'll see if we die, and then if we do, we, we, we try a different time frame. The door's still open. Because now I'm going through cameras multiple times in a row. You guys ready to die, gamers? <laughs> you ready to get smacked by Noir? This dude who are breathing down our neck right now. As soon as that hits seven, I'm standing up and we're going to get smacked. I'm so ready. I'm ready to get smacked. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, it's slightly too long. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm saying. You you need to stay. Whoa, we only got 22 out of 40. What the fuck? Wait, huh? That timer has to be wrong, right? Maybe not. 
Okay, well, continue here. Don't click new game. Uh, we literally just had a save point, so it's fine. Okay, so let's wait until five now. I really want to just see them spawn in the room so we can see those shadows behind us. And we already reported that or we delivered the package anyway. Okay. So open these doors. We have all the lights on now. We should turn off. Or let's try all the lights on. Let's let's just do Let's see with all the lights on, can you sit down for five minutes and not die? We're gonna wait until it says six here because we sit down at at one. Once that happens, we'll see if we get smacked again. Interesting that Del Taco owns every C apartment on every floor. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, huh? It will be better for him if he just comes out of the B apartment. <laughs> or like he, he, he flanks us using the elevator or something. Uh, so we need to wait. I mean, it might already be too late. We might just go into a, a bonk spiral here. We just get bonked over and over again. I mean, if you can't even wait, can't even wait five minutes. Okay, so I mean, let's let's just wait until six. If we fail, then we fail. I'm just gonna wait and, and get up right at six, as soon as it hits that. Don't kill me. Oh. Okay, so you just spawn behind me now. Uh, interesting. So what I've also wanted to try is, can you look back at them? Okay, so you literally can, they work like, uh, Noir in the... Can you walk? What happens if I walk behind him? <laughs> can I slap him on the ass? <laughs> I got I died for booty smack. <laughs> All right, so that's interesting that you can get extremely close and still not die. I don't know if that's what was, was because we were behind him or something. But yeah, you can't walk past them. I still want them to spawn in the in the bathroom and the bedroom because like that's a new mechanic that I've never seen yet. I I think I've died to it once, but like. It must be extremely rare, but that's the problem. Like that reminds me of scrutinized where in scrutinized, even though stuff doesn't happen very often because it can happen, you have to constantly be extreme. Excuse me. You have to be extremely paranoid of it happening. Um, which is very annoying. So the fact that they can potentially spawn in the bedroom and bathroom just uh, makes our life very hard. Unless they don't spawn when you close the doors, which is what someone said, but I doubt that's true. You cannot move while turning away from him. You should be able to. There's no, like, don't move thing. What if you move backwards into him? Will he, like, kill you? It's probably. This is all the science that you can do because we're playing casual mode. On nightmare mode, this would take... F or, like, on normal mode, this would take forever to test. Because it would take like another like 30 minutes before the dangers are even activated. So like that's why why I did this on casual mode. Like not only did I want to get some achievements, but I also wanted to just dick around and be an idiot. Okay, as soon as it hits six, I stand up. Come on. There. I didn't die. And there he so see he mostly spawns in the room. Interesting. One Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and immediately look around. Okay, he he doesn't need bonus seconds. This guy doesn't need no bonus second. Cause the other one is way more dangerous. All right, well let's go sit until twelve now. Let's see if they immediately respawn. Cause this is something that, like, um. We know it works like this. We know that if you stand up like a lot, they don't ever spawn. There is like a minimum amount of time you need to be at the computer. Oh, fuck. 
Uh, there's a minimum amount of time you need to be at the computer for them to even be able to show up. You have to do it again. We'll wait until 14. Um, and I wonder what that time is. That'd be important to know. That's an access point right there. <clears throat> 16 over quarter. Holy or it's 11 over quarter. Go ahead. 14. Damn, that feels... That feels risky as hell. Really skipped the bonus second. I'm so sorry. I've betrayed you all. Is this over and over again? Yes, because we're playing casual mode. Casual mode is has checkpoints every hour. Now, what can happen is that if you have a bad checkpoint... We already got the open door, by the way. If you, for some reason, were really bad at reporting things and you didn't get enough rollover quota, you might actually really struggle in the last hour and not be able to get enough. I'm going to sit up immediately at 14. And die. Oh! I'm not seeing shadow. No shadow. Interesting. I guess they have, like, a cooldown, right? They have a cooldown because they already... Like, we already had them spawn. You can actually see that there's stuff in the other rooms, by the way. Look at that. Like, it probably is 2D or something, but... I think there's actually rooms. So much detail. We're peeping. Okay, let's just, uh... Play the game, I guess. Just stand up, uh... More frequently. Any package? 8A, we already... Were... Oh, okay, well, fuck you then. 5B, 45 minutes. We can probably go around... Oh, there's a body. 5B, sure, we'll just go. Whatever. We'll probably have to go up and down a few times, but it's fine. I'm leaving the door open. Because I still want to know if you die because of that. Yeah, you can avoid Del Taco by getting away from the cam immediately. Like, within 0 0.75 seconds, which is very hard if you're not, like, f super focused. There she is again. Come closer. By the way, important that you don't have your flashlight turned on while doing this. Because if Lucas spawns while, like, after it's over, then you would immediately get shot by Lucas because uh, he kills you when you have your flashlight on. By the way, I'm sorry I didn't count this time. Bonus second. Here you go. I did the bo I did the only thing I did was bonus second. You happy? Added. He added a 25% or 25 second cooldown between a threat and Lucas. Oh, well, okay, never mind then. <laughs> uh, scratch what I just said. I guess, I mean, I. Like, that is. That's a great example of something that I'm just, like, used to being in these types of games. Like, that is the type of stuff that it feels totally normal for a Reflex Studios games. Or, what was it? 4A? Or. It was I forgot the packet or the number? Someone wrote it down though. Probably it was a five B. It was five B. I think five. It was something five. No one knew. I had to dig into my own brain somewhere. But uh, as I was saying, like uh, that is the type of mechanic that feels totally in line with the other type of bullshit that you have to deal with when playing a Reflex Studio game. So, the fact that he's actually changing those mechanics to make them more fair is a pretty good sign, like, I think, for if you are a more casual gamer or just, like, aren't as insane as we are. Because it just broadens up the... the the group of people that can beat these games. So 
just like we're playing Battleship. What am I trying to do now? We're trying to beat the game. I mean, we're trying to get an achievement. We need one more achievement. We got every single one except Package Handler and God Gamer, but God Gamer is not available right now because Nightmare Mode isn't out. But as soon as it is, we'll try and beat that. Uh, I don't, I think the code's gonna be different, but we'll still try. No, still there. See no shadow. No Lucas. Zero, one, 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 one. Gotta be someone out there. There was a body here, but it's already gone. That's got the code 69696 or something. <laughs> Has to happen. Oh, wait, the code changed immediately. What the fuck? 74264. Uh, 74264. Boom. 42069. Even better. Dude. One day. <laughs> so we haven't missed a single package. The client received the package. We just need to hold out for one and a half more hours. Like, you can see how hard it is. Like, if we're... Oh, come the fuck on. <laughs> you can see how hard it is to get... The good boy and, like, uh... The cleaning lady achievement. Like, there's three different achievements based on sp reporting specific things. Oh my god, the elevator's all the way at the bottom. Which means that in order to get those, you literally just gotta play the game a lot. Like... Uh, you can't make those things happen. There's no influence. Which is... Yeah, it's the same reason why I've ne I still don't have... Even if you're playing Scrutinized for as long as I did, I still don't have all the achievements for Scrutinized. Because one of them is like... I think there's one achievement that's called the, the Shit Yourself Achievement. And I don't even know what happens. I think you just... Like, when you sit up from your computer, there's like a one in a million chance that you just shit yourself and die. But I have no idea. Like, you just hear like a shitting sound effect and you just get a game over screen. <laughs> like, it's extremely rare. And I don't have it still. Yeah, I stay, I, I'm just setting this. I'll read the thing in a second. Yeah, it's very silly. I don't know if that's exactly how it works. There's some, just some really rare thing where you poop yourself. Uh, we need uh, no package. A new job, and you're getting out of fast food hell. Let's go. I'm glad to hear that, Chaz. Thank you for the ten dollar donation. Uh, wait, I need to look up the achievement for Scrutinize. Sorry for the mute. Um, scrutinized. I have 21 out of 22 achievements. The one achievement I don't have, poop yourself. Poop your pants. 0.8% of players have this achievement. That is fucking insanely rare. That is unbelievably rare. That is like almost as rare as supposedly as beating nightmare mode, which means that so to give you an example, no one besides me, as far as we know, because there's no video on YouTube of anyone else beating nightmare mode. And I don't see any random person beating it because you just need like a, you need a absolute mountain of knowledge and a whole bunch of teamwork in order to be able to beat it. So like some random gamer beating it just doesn't make any sense. Um, Night God Gamer or the Nightmare Mode achievement has a 0.4% completion rate, which means that 0.4% of players just like unlock achievements using some external tool. That's like the baseline, like 0.4% of players, like that is the minimum amount of, uh, of like percentage per achievement, 04264. So the fact that basically only 0.4% of people have legitimately unlocked the poop yourself equipment or uh, achievement is insane. Uh, 74264. Yeah, thank you for the $5 super chat. One thing that makes me work better. Nothing. 
That makes me work better than a welcome to the game stream. Let's go. But yeah. Sure enough, thank you for the like I I it's I like by no means like people sometimes mis misunderstand why I say that. It's just because it's a fact. Like it's just because as far as we know, n we have never seen anyone else beat it, which I why I, the fuck? Which is why I assume like there's no video on YouTube of anyone doing it, which is why I assume no one has. Um but I wish people would try. I wish there was someone else crazy enough to do it. But I don't recommend it. <laughs> it's like actually probably the most painful thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> like it was two weeks of just 12 hours a day grinding over and over and over and over again. It's still bugged out of... It's still bugged like nobody's business. So there's just like a... Every time you, you skip a night... There's like a one in, there's like a 5% chance you just die. So, and because there's like, how many nights? I forgot how many. There's like, I don't know how many nights there were on Nightmare. I think it was more, I think it was like 15 or something insane. It's like 14. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So just based on that alone, like not only do you have to play perfectly, but like there is a every night, which there's like 13 times you have to skip the night. Every time there's like a 5% chance you just die without n anything you can do about it. So just that alone would require so many resets. And that is presuming, that is assuming that everything else goes perfectly. And there's also other things such as, for example, uh, in that game, Tanner can show up and like jump scare you on the camera and you have to be on the camera to flash him out of jump scaring you uh, to kill you. When you, in order to play the game, in order to beat the game, you have to hack people's phones. The mini game that you need to do to hack people's phone, which you have to do every time because you will never earn money in that game. Uh, as far as I know, there was no way to earn money, I think. Or maybe you have to be like ridiculously over quota, which is just impossible. Um, which means you have to do them every time. You have to do the hack mini game every time. And they're at max difficulty, which means that during the mini game, this guy is still here, by the way. He can spawn and kill you before you finish the minigame, which is just another insane thing. So what we started doing is literally uh, having to check in the middle of doing the minigame, which was timed and like super hard. You had to check the cameras to see if he was there. So you would uh, avoid dying to him when you left the minigame. It was unbelievably dumb. And if you filled the minigame, you had to wait for like... I don't know how long, like five or five to 10 real life minutes before you could uh, retry it. So if you filled it like two times in a row, the night will be over, uh, go fuck yourself. You lost the game. Um, like there were so many things like that that just made it beyond stupid. <laughs> oh God, to, to beat, which is why I like fair, feel like I can fairly confidently say that it would take a like huge team effort, which is what it took to for us to beat it. But it would take a huge team effort for anyone else to beat it. So I don't expect anyone that's not like making gaming videos for a living to beat it. Insane. I have not watched the FNAF movie. It it's no it doesn't play in any of the local theaters here, so I don't think I can watch it. I would have to go pretty far, which I don't want to do that because I'm busy. But maybe, maybe eventually. Keep it wild. Thank you for the 21. Is it still there? Are you still there? It's horrible. You're not missing out. You can watch it on Peacock. Is that illegal? That's some... Is that some uh, illegal business you guys are talking about? I don't know what Peacock is. Is it a... It's, it's a thing? It's legal? The laser still here. So you can turn on your flashlight in the bedroom now and not die. Peacock is fine. NBC streaming service. Like Hulu. It's like Netflix. What? Uh, five one two seven one. I definitely want to watch this shit. Five one two seven one. If I can watch it online somewhere. Five one two seven one. 
It's only in the US. I got a VPN. <laughs> I'll make them believe I'm in the US. Can't stop me. East Slice, thank you for the 23. Okay, we have passed uh, until 9. That's illegal. Uh, I mean, I'll just go on a plane to go to the US. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Laugh as a contract with Peacock. That's expensive. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to do anything. We already beat the game. I don't know why. Like, this is this is ridiculous how many how did i ever i mean i guess we didn't struggle to beat casual mode right we beat it on our first try i mean we died a few times obviously um but we beat it in two hours or something do the three hours we're not gonna watch it on stream that is that will be turbo illegal that will get me insta ban oh god Just checking this. I don't have to check it. I just, just don't even care if I die. Yeah, just can we just hack it? Can we play Welcome to the Game and like get a dip, deep web wiki that allows us to watch the FNAF movie? <laughs> don't worry, everyone paid for it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Dude, I wish we'd at least see it once, man. The Shadow Noir. How do you get the package handler achievement? We're going for it right now, hopefully. We don't. We have gotten every package. But you can only miss three packages now on casual mode. Well, here we go again. 3A, 30 minutes. 3A. Let's go there right away. 3A. Hi. That's it. Come closer. Oh, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus second. I'm leaving the door open. Is the guy going to be up here? <clears throat> And now the power is going to go out. Like, we're going to go deliver the package 3A, then come back up, see that the power's out, go back to the attic. <laughs> he is not here. I was expecting there to be a guy. There it is. Catch it. Catch it. No, I missed it. I saw the pop-up though. I'm gonna check if it's dead. Because it probably is. Don't kill me. It is not, but it's gonna go out. In three, two, one. I can imagine. And you go to the basement. I what? I have I have to see the first floor. Let's go to the first floor. <laughs> Wait, you can't? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Can't even go to the first floor. All right then. <laughs> I was like, why why have I never gotten a package for floor one? Damn. I mean, it would be cool if you could at least see the lobby. That I mean, I guess that would. It's one of those things where it would it would add a little bit of immersion, but like. Basically, no one would check it. And it would just be a lot of modeling and environment work for, like, very little payoff. I've been wanting to see the first floor, but luckily it doesn't exist, so I haven't missed anything. Please stop walking your pet skunk in the hallway. I don't think it's a skunk. 3A? What is this? 24-7. I like that there's a little story in front of every house. Like, it, it's not just the same thing for every floor. 
Head skunk, yeah, probably just smoking weed or something. <laughs> the elevator music, yeah, is very, it's a bop. I can't wait until the button gets added where you can speed up the elevator, but every time you use it, there's a 1% chance it crashes and fucking kills you. <laughs> like, what the hell, man? What a stupid mechanic. That is such a Adam mechanic. Gonna have to... Like, that's gonna be really fun for casual mode, but for nightmare mode, it's gonna be the fucking hell, dude. Uh... I don't know if we should even... One, five, two, seven, one. I don't... Oh, there we go. We left the door open. Yeah, we've been trying to see if we get killed if we leave the door open, but... It doesn't... Never happen. Where's Del Taco? We're playing casual right now, so no Del Taco. All right, 30 more minutes. We got 16... I think we have a little bit... We, we might need a few more reports. Otherwise, we're going to lose. We need at least 20 reports over quota. Can you leave it unlocked? No, then you will die to Noir or to Lucas. It should be the last package, right? I would assume. I mean, we can get bopped right here. It doesn't matter too much. But we would like to just smoothly go into the i mean i hope we get the achievement i don't know why we wouldn't might be something wrong though you never know all right give me the shadow no shadows you need to be over quota no i was just joking <laughs> you don't need to do anything as long as you have the quota you you beat it there was actually a bug for when the game first came out that you didn't even we already got this one that you didn't even have to be over quote or you didn't even have to reach the quota to beat it was very silly just like the last uh for the last hour it just wouldn't check the quota so you could just beat the game without even getting any have a good one rora nora zoro one piece viewer spotted oh there's a high value i finished one piece yesterday it's only like eight episodes oh it's off Nine six seven five six. The one piece is real, exactly. The one piece. I'm so upset they didn't say that. Nine six seven five six. I watched the fucking Netflix series, not the like, fifteen million episode anime. I'm not a weeb. The one piece. The one piece is real. <laughs> it's so good. When is when are they ever gonna fight the damn one piece? This shit's taking forever. I'm assuming it's based on at least like I'm assuming it's based on real episodes. Like they just picked like they like they just picked a few episodes and put turned that into the TV show. Into the Netflix series. Like, they kind of just forcefully made the uh, end of the season. Like, you knew when you were watching, it was like, I was like watching and I was like, what, is this going to be the end of the season? Like, is this the end? Because it felt like they were like, obviously going like, oh, it's, it's, we're going on a new adventure. And then... It was the end, and I was like, what the hell? The shit was longer. Okay, there's blood. I'm assuming they're making more, because it was really successful, I heard. I mean, I don't watch anything, and I watched this, so that's already a testament to... how solid it was. It was fun. It was, like, it wasn't even insane it wasn't the best thing i ever watched like this was pretty it was a little cringe here and there but that's just that's just anime i don't know why i'm even checking there's never anything spawning now i want to rewatch it you want to rewatch the 1500 episode series because i mentioned it once <laughs> 
mo least insane anime watcher of all time just dropped. Yeah, let me rewatch a fucking 700 hour series because I want to. <laughs> like, not just watching it once, no, watching it fucking twice. Are you kidding me? That's just a cat, that's just a weekend. Blood in the kitchen? Yeah, I reported that. We got- we got so many reports, dude, the game is gonna break. I mean, I'm trying to get... The, it's gonna look so pathetic, it's gonna be like, You missed... 60 reports! Oh, fuck. Oh. Because there's gonna be so many more than we actually spotted. I feel like we were pretty, like, active on the computer, though. I mean, we did a lot of walking around with the packages, right? Because we have to get all of the packages. Got a window in the living room. Run through the laser. We did it several times. I just want to beat the game now. I could never... I'd like, I can only finish stuff that is, like, the One Piece Netflix series. Oh, come on. Where it's just, like, eight episodes and that's it. Like... Whenever something is like too many seasons, too long, it just, I can't. Did they ever finish Castlevania? I remember watching one episode of that, but there was only one episode at the time. That shit was pretty good. Did I watch The Last of Us? No. They finished it? Oh, maybe I'll watch that next. That shit was pretty good. Are we good? I just need short series. Like, I need stuff that doesn't require, like, a whole lot of time commitment. In, like, four seasons. That's what I like to hear. Just, I mean, I don't know if I'll watch it all, but I'll... I'll watch it until it bores me, and then I stop. <laughs> That's how I consume media. Like, I even stopped watching Breaking Bad. Like, I'm, I'm a menace. <laughs> I do not have the... Oh, hi there. I do not have the attention span needed to accomplish anything when it comes to finishing series that love and robots critical role campaigns i didn't know about that uh until the fucking twitch leaks and i learned that critical role is the most subscribed youtube channel by like a margin of two like they get like nine million dollars a year from you from twitch subscribers or something insane like that and I was like, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> Turns out they're like a fucking D&D &D empire. Oh, I did it. I beat the game. Complete. Disconnect from the network. Go to bread. Go to bread. Wait, can I? Uh, this is not over, Ronald. You managed to survive. But what about the next time? Whatever, you freaking creep. And then he says... You, what a night, huh? I can't believe you're still alive. Job well done, Ronald. Get some rest. You deserve it after a night like this. Yeah, thanks. She doesn't love me. What a name. All right, so now we go to bed. This is the casual ending, if you've never seen it, by the way. Uh, you just go to sleep. <laughs> and then you have to deal with your... I should have probably turned off the light. <laughs> you have to deal with your upstairs neighbors drilling right in the middle of the night at, like, fucking... 4 a.m. You fall asleep after a long and terrifying night. But you can't seem to get this whole night out of your mind. What was that? This is so much better than the fucking... Da -da 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 -da. You're ready for the shit ending. You wonder what did Adam want with you? Why did he target you? Like, this is, like, it's pretty much the same. Curiosity is killing you. You have to find out more. Like, it still doesn't say much. Like, it doesn't have any lore reasons. Or, there's no lore here. Uh, there you go. We got the game. We got the final achievement. Package handler. Beat the game without missing a single package. You've completed casual mode. Impressive. You have proven yourself worthy for normal. I love how the, like, it's character development, dude. Adam character development. This... You have beaded casual- you have completed casual mode. Impressive. Compare that to fucking- let me look it up for you right now. Um, compare that to insane scrutinized uh, casual mode. I'm gonna watch my own video. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. 
I don't know what I'm mad about, but I'm mad about something. Here we go. This is the ending for... This right here. This is the ending for... <laughs> for casual mode. Look at this. Maybe easy. I did the wrong... I split at the wrong time, but still, that's super fast. <laughs> Shit ending. Congratulations, <laughs> you won. Shit ending. You are now ready for normal mode. Uh, okay, that's how it works. You just get, like, the fucking rudest ending of all time. It's like baby sounds in the background. <laughs> I can't play this because I know this sound is copyrighted because my videos kept getting fucking copyright strike. But uh, yeah, so compare that to fucking you have completed casual mode. Impressive. You have proven yourself worthy for normal mode. Are you up for the challenge? So much better. Just like <laughs> not dicking on your players that are because pretty much everyone does casual mode first and then normal mode. So you leave like a bad taste in everyone's mouth. But yeah, anyway, we got all the achievements. Here, here, we, here it is. We have uh, 17 out of 18 achievements. Uh, we didn't get some of these during this very session like we didn't. I wonder if you could have gotten this one if you just reloaded the game at the end. This one is really rare. 20% of people have this. You just need to get lucky with the delivery of the package. Uh, like if you get that package outrunning Mr. Del Falco, you have to do that on normal mode, obviously. This one we did even though I already did that before. Normal mode is really hard. Like, this is probably the hardest achievement if you're trying to beat this now. Only 1.3% of people have gotten this. Uh, strong start is extremely easy. Good boy, you need to report the dog. We didn't get that. And then obviously the one report or the one achievement that's left is beating the game on nightmare mode, which cannot even be completed right now because nightmare mode is not in the game. So yeah, we did all of the achievements and tested some stuff in nightmare mode uh, or in uh, casual mode. Uh, we still don't know much about the shadows of like how you can see them when they're in the bedroom or the bathroom but we're gonna have to learn that when we play um when we play nightmare mode when that comes out which i don't know when that'll be maybe it's already out by the time i upload this video anyway thank you so much for watching over on youtube i hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the love the game is here chat you can join us over at, uh, over at twitch.tv slash or youtube live streaming right now uh, and uh, or you if you want to go to twitch you can click the link in the description youtube live streaming will just be on the channel obviously anyway thank you so much i'll see you around bye guys have a good one bye bye dude the music is so good the drop <laughs> anyway bye bye all righty well that is going to be the end for us today thank you guys so much for hanging out i'm going to close this um you are now ready for normal mode uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for chilling, hanging out with us today. Uh, I will be linking a video. Uh, we're, we're starting or we're ending stream a little early, but we started an hour early. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that we had enough time to complete what I wanted today, which was both figuring out how Del Taco works and um, doing the all achievement stuff. So give me one second. We're going to upload a video. Oh, the forewarned video. If you have never checked forewarned and you like Phasmo, you are missing out. You have, uh, you are missing out on a wonderful game that hits all the notes that Phasmo does, but is so unique compared to Phasmo that it'll feel like a full new experience. So anyway, I'll link it over here in the YouTube chat. If you want to check that out? Uh, that's your guys' raid because I can't raid on YouTube or I don't know any YouTube live streamer, so I don't, I don't raid on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching over on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one. I'll see you on the video. I'll see you in the comment section. Bye, guys.